Okay, we're live on the air. This is RBCP. And with me is Carlito. Hey, Carlito. Ah, boner. Yay, Carlito. Hey. And um, Carlito, it's completely Carlito's fault that we didn't make it in time. I wanted to do a uh, Happy New Year's for the Central Time Zone people, and you screwed it all up by being a little late. You still got mountain, baby. Yeah, yeah. Um, Hold on, I gotta find something here. Ah, this. It's the only odd lang sign whatever song I have. So this is for Central Time Zone, and I guess since we missed Central, this is for East Coast people too. I was going to say fuck you, East Coast people. But here, we're going to play a little bit of this for the New Year's Eve prank show. Is this my show or your show? or? <laughs> Our show. Okay. Our, hey, can I can I make an announcement? I can't do a show Thursday because I got something going on Thursday night. Ah, that's a. I'm gonna be in a hotel room with a girl, so I won't be here. <laughs> with a 16 year old, like Jen? No, 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 like Jen. No, <laughs> no, she's. Uh, Are you gonna bring your arch 18. archery kit to the? She turns she turns 18 on Wednesday, so. Oh, okay, well that's all right. <laughs> it's cool, man. Yeah. Um, that would be nice. Uh, uh, Linuxisgarbage.com. I'm, I'm trolling Linux users, and it's really easy because they take their operating system like too, way too seriously. Oh my god, I know, right? And and the Simpsons thing, where you're looking for people. I am too. Oh yeah, yeah. That that was my announcement. Uh, everyone needs to get on their iPhones and iPads. Uh, I, uh, Linux users won't be able to do it because Linux users would never use an iPhone or an iPad. Uh, hold on, I gotta make sure this. Doesn't turn into music. La 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 la. Uh. There, there's your music. The train game music. Yeah, yeah. So everyone, get on on uh, the App Store, download Simpsons. Um, tapped out. Tapped out. Yeah, and add add me and Carlito. Uh, my name is RBCP, and Carlito is Carlitas hyphen X. Yes. Just, that that's a good way to make things easy. Put hyphens all over the place. I know, yeah, it's in Carlitas instead of because it's uh, OS, US. I'm surprised yeah. your your domain name isn't like madhouse hyphen live hyphen. Yeah. Dot like org. blue planet prank call dot info dot com. <laughs> Something, yeah. Or 98.6 to mouth dot com. That was always fun. <laughs> uh, People I, used to get mad at that. We need to pay our respects to KDK because uh, this show is happening because of. Uh, Dr. Phil, who's a KDK listener, and he's asking me if I was... He emailed me and said, are you going to do a show tonight? Just out of nowhere. And uh, I yeah. Actually, actually why, why, why would I pay respects to KDK? Because this is why? Dr. Phil. <laughs> I'm sorry. respect why us. Dr. Phil's an awesome guy. Though. Hey, Dr. If you're listening to Dr. Phil, what's up, man? I haven't talked to him in a while. It, what's up, Dr. Phil? It's weird. I, I met him completely uh, outside of, um, you know, Madhouse or KDK or anything. Mm -hmm. uh, you know, I, I went into the E-bombs uh, tiny chat. And started oh, hanging out sure. in there like earlier this year, and I, I met Doctor Phil, and then all of a sudden I see him in Katie K's room, and that was weird. What the fuck? <laughs> I knew that guy. That's cool. If I can drop a plug real quick, I'm still waiting for uh, an Ingress invite. Any Android uh, players? Any Android people that got Ingress? I could use an invite. H hit me up. That's all. What is Ingress? I, I've... Uh, it's I, I don't know how to explain it. It's like I... Google's trying to outsource. Uh, they're trying to crowdsource some fine tuning of their mapping thing, so they made up this game where you go around with your Android tablet or phone with GPS on, and in the real world, there's like little nodes and stuff, and you can okay. be on one faction or the other. And I've played uh, it's, like that. It's kind of like kind of like capture the flag in the real world, but like in a secret real world, it's it's kind of yeah. Yeah, I, I played. It was a stupid little iPhone game. It's something about robot Docobot or something, and you. You went around to all these areas of your town and you collected batteries, oh, and it was okay. pretty neat. And then, have yeah. you heard about the one that's like, it, it's kind of like an exercise type game. Uh, you have to run around your city, and all these zombies are chasing you on your screen, so you have to keep an yeah. eye on your screen. <laughs> I think that's I heard awesome. about that. I've yeah, never... I heard about that. Yeah, but I'm too fat for that. Yeah, I've never played that because fuck running, but that sounds amazing. Right? Yeah, that's <laughs> when that Wii came out. I was like, fuck that shit. 
Who wants to sit on my ass and play a game? Who wants to play that? Do- we. Dr. Phil is in the chat room. He's saying he started listening to KDK around 1996 when KDK invented internet prank call radio. Uh, well, I guess it's I guess it's true. <laughs> <laughs> wow. Um, Dr. Phil. On the New Year's show, I remember before we started the show, you said you wanted to prank... Um, you wanted to do convenience store survey pranks because you love those, but you've never actually done one before. On, on the Christmas Eve show, yes. Yeah, we never got around to it because we were having so much fun with Sears. Yeah, every one of those was a pickup. Every one of those was pretty good. I think we only had <laughs> yeah. one that didn't pick up. That Unlike was the fun. complete garbage I sent to your show the the you know days before the week before. Yeah, yeah that's fine. Some days it's like that, man. That's yep. cool. Um, yeah, Seven Eleven works, and I'll see if I can scrounge up some numbers. I was thinking um, Louisville, Kentucky sounded hilarious, but they apparently don't have 7-Elevens, but I have a bunch of Circle Ks. Mm. Cow 90s, yeah, that's cool. That works. Um, I kind of wanted to invite people to call in and just tell us your resolutions, maybe. Is that, that, too- is that too gay? No, no, that's fine. That's <laughs> fine. Tell uh, us all your broken promises yeah, the, to um, yourself. The the number is the old phone show number. I'm I'm in charge tonight. It's 505 796 Four zero two zero or phonelosers.org on Skype. Okay. And then we'll hang up on them immediately because fuck putting a lot of... Oh, yeah, that's another thing. I think I might have connection problems tonight. So far, it sounds okay, but please let me know somehow if if connection issues arise and all. Yeah, I'll let, let me... Uh, I got a little monitoring tool. If I see a drop out, I'll give you the high sign. Okay. All right. I'll make sure I, I get just, that on I know right it was now. choppy earlier when I, when I was testing things, but since then, it's been all right. All right, cool. Well, hopefully it stays. All right, looks good so far. All right. Ready for our first failure? Yes, it's fail. Circle K. As, um, how about if how about if I uh I I get the customer on the line and then you talk to the customer? Okay. Is that okay? okay. Sure, that's fine. I got to drink some real real quick here. Oh, man, I have to remember if I know how to if I remember how to do this. You know, I really haven't done a show that I've been in charge of since the phone Mm. show, really. Since, Mm. like, August. Well, here we are. Return to the phone show. Yeah, we did Christmas Eve, but that was yours. I was just running the the stream. You were running the Skype. Mm -hmm. Is that how... I don't even remember much of that show. (laughs) I don't... I don't remember much. They wouldn't shut down Circle K's for, for New Year's, would they? No, they're probably pretty busy. That's probably what's going on. I've worked at a bunch of convenience stores. They never shut down any of them for us. Mm -mm. Nope. There. I found this website. It's like the Craigslist of the UK. um, But their numbers aren't formatted for international. And I always fuck it up. Uh, Well, I've got 11 cents credit if we want to. Oh, shit. That's right. You don't have credits like that. Oh, fuck. I, 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 I might be up for... You know, putting ten bucks on there and making some UK calls. Yeah, I got money locked in this account. I can't get it out. Damn. Dairy Mart. Hi, this is Paul from the Dairy Mart corporate office. Um, yes. Uh, I'm just calling to do the weekly customer survey. Uh, do you have any customers in there I could speak with? Uh. Uh, no, not at the time. It's third shift, and we lock the doors on third shift and work through the drawer. Oh, motherfucker. God damn it, shit. Okay. <laughs> Cunt. You don't need to laugh at me, ma'am. I'll, I'll put you out of a fucking job. Excuse me? You heard me. And and don't don't use that tone don't of voice with that. me either, because I'm your boss. I'm basically your boss. I'm your boss's boss. I sign your paycheck. Do you have a paycheck stub with you? Look at the signature on it and see what it says. Goodbye. Happy New Year. I get direct deposits. So I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> I'm so old, I think the paychecks still arrive that way. I don't even think, yeah. Most places, either, if you don't get direct deposit, they give you a debit card now. Everyone's like, I, fuck the, paper. She answered Dairy Mart. Like, I guess they changed ownership. They're changing the name. Dairy Mart. That's a place I want to go. Uh, we, that's Mart. what we have here in Albany, Oregon. We yeah. have like three or four Dairy Marts. Let's think about Circle tips. K, third and one line, how may I help you? Hi, this is Paul from the corporate office. I'm calling to do the weekly customer survey. Do you have any customers there in the store I could speak with? No, we don't. We just, it's, 
one thirty in the morning. Well, yeah. Duh. Do you lock up at night, or, or are they allowed to come in? Uh, no, we. Uh, it's a. Uh, we had just had customers uh, uh, leave. Oh, I'm sorry. So you do have. I mean, you just had customers in there, but then just a second ago, you were talking to me like I'm retarded for asking. No, it's one thirty no, in the no. fucking morning. Why would we have customers? You fucking idiot. I see how it is. Oh. I'm okay. Sorry. Well, I'll try back then later. Thank you. <laughs> He's like, I'm sorry. <laughs> All right, maybe I should try a you know West Coast time zone. <laughs> I'm sorry. Um, got any ideas for a city? Uh yes, I do. Kansas City. What city? What state is that in? Missouri. Or Eagle, there we go. Yeah, it's not Kansas. It's Missouri. That's it. Well, it's both, isn't it? Doesn't it like? Is there a Kansas City, Kansas? I don't, I don't know. Yeah, my favorite, Kansas City, Missouri, St. Louis. That's a good town too. It, it's not even midnight yet there, so they're partying, man. Yeah, yeah, the store should be full. Yeah, people buying beer probably in that state. Man. That's what I would do. Striking out. Yeah, I'm gonna check that train game, that railroad. What do you do in that game? You just put down railroad stakes. Oh yeah, it's amazing. It's uh like two years old you ever played that one that it's like a circuit board and you have to put all the circuits in the right direction to light up the lights i had a class like that yeah <laughs> well, it's a game like that but it, instead oh, cool. of circuits it's railroad i guess it's oh. nothing like that right you can do uh yeah uh and and or circuit no what no, else no i'm sorry that was a horrible <laughs> comparison it, it's it's awesome it's called rail maze and, uh, and I was really addicted to it, like worse than The Simpsons, even. Oh, yeah. Ah, now they're busy because I, I paused it. I hated that class. <laughs> Electronics. It was fun, but the teacher was an asshole. Polaris wants us to call some VFW halls. Do they do something? Oh, oh yeah, yeah, man, they're partying. Yes, yeah, Mark Richard, can I help you? Hi, this is huh? Stephen from the corporate office. I'm calling to do the weekly customer survey. Do you have a customer in there I could do a survey with? Pardon? You you heard me? Yeah, sir. Sure. Hey, is there a customer in there I could speak with? No, sir, not right now. Oh, when was the last customer? Uh, about uh, five minutes okay, ago. Okay, bye. <laughs> this sucks. Call him back. Call him right back. Ask him if there's another customer yet. <laughs> this would be stupid. You have a customer yet? Ah, <laughs> oh, god damn. The fuck, man. They know how to get us back. The automatic second call. It's weird. 7 Eleven and Circle K does that. You know, with the fax machine. Gas Mart Richard, can I help you? Is there a customer there yet? No, you're just one pulling up. Oh, perfect. I I'd love to talk to him because I'm calling from the corporate office. And, and it's a, okay, then it's just a survey, a minute, sir. and they get a free soft drink or hot dog or whatever you have in there. Just a minute, Condoms. sir. Okay, thank you. D. Sir? Yes. Who, me or the customer? Hello? Yes, hi. Welcome to... I want to thank you. Welcome to Gas Mart. You're the 1,000th customer of the month. You made it in just right before the uh, New Year's. Did you have any plans? We're going to be picking up any alcohol today? Uh, no. Uh, what did you come in for? Maybe we can get you a deal, uh, get you some free stuff for answering uh, our survey. I'm actually all right. You're all right? What did you come in for? Just to come in and talk, or what do you want? Uh... You know, I'm I'm all right. Thank what you. What did you What did you come in for? Would you like a sandwich? A sandwich? I'll get. I'll, no. I'll, I'll, we'll give you a sandwich. Oh come on! I can do something for you. Come on! I'll suck you. I don't know either. I'll hang it up. <laughs> <laughs> He's loitering. I think. <laughs> oh, okay. We, did he go in there to buy weed or something? <laughs> <laughs> we probably just fucked up a drug deal. Yeah. Should call him back and accuse him of that. Yes, Mark Richard, can I help you? Oh, hi, this is the corporate office again. Um, I just need to talk to that guy real quick. Um, we just need to do one last thing with him. It's totally legit. In just a minute, sir. Okay. Tell him he can't loiter. Okay. He doesn't want to talk, sir. Okay. 
you need to tell him that he needs to leave the store. There's no loitering allowed since he's not there to buy anything. He needs to be thrown out of the store. Yes, sir. You need to force him out physically. Like, take, grab him by the arm and show him who's boss and lead him out the door. Yes, sir. Okay, um, just don't hang up the phone. Go ahead and do it right now so I can hear it happen. He's already gone. Can what you, did he come he's in not there loitering. For? Go to the what door he, and yell at him. Don't he, come. <laughs> yeah, what did he come in there for, sir? Seriously. <laughs> I think he went in there to buy drugs. I think that guy's selling drugs. He's probably just like, fuck this place. Go <laughs> <laughs> Gas Mart. Yeah, what the hell's Gas Mart anyway? Who wants to get something to eat at Gas Mart? <laughs> eat here and get gas. <laughs> <laughs> Jeez. Well, great time. Yeah, that, that makes up for all the, the shittiness we started out with. Oh, I, I noticed a little bit of choppiness, so if anyone notices any horrible sounding stuff, please let me know. Gas Mart. Hi, this is Steven from the corporate office with Gas Mart. I'm just, How you doing? Oh, pretty good. I'm just calling to do the weekly customer survey. Do you have a customer in there I could speak with? Uh, there's no customers in here right now. Uh, there's none outside maybe coming in? No, I would, it's been a slow night tonight. Really? The whole day been slow. New Year's? It's, yeah, it's snowing. Oh, yeah. it's snowing. Is you here in Kansas City? Oh, no, no. We're in some other city that's not Kansas City. We're just oh, St. Well, Louis. It's ice this is the, out here. This is the corporate office in St. Louis. Did you just want to close up? I know it's New Year's and everything. If it's snowing, it's not safe for you to be there. Really? Yeah. You, did you want to go? I mean, if you want, you can go. want to go home be with your family. Really? <laughs> yeah. I mean, yeah, it's, <laughs> it's cool. I think you think we can do that, Steve? You think that's all right, it's Steve? pretty evil, but sure, why not? Yeah, it's cool. Um, do, our do boss you, might be mad. <laughs> oh no, we'll talk to the boss. Do you have a key to shut to lock the door? Um, we have the mag locks and everything, so nobody will be able to get in. You need the oh, code to get in our store. Perfect. So once we lock down the store and everything, you need the code to get in. Ah, perfect. Yeah, yeah. Go ahead and just cash out and go home. It's fine. Yeah. All right. Thanks. <laughs> sure. Anytime. All right. Happy New Year. Thanks. All right. Happy New Year. All right. You too. <laughs> <laughs> This is that's wrong. <laughs> that, that shouldn't have happened. What's uh, wrong with that? We did. Oh, me and Dark Stranger spent a whole night doing that during the uh, Hurricane Sandy thing. We kept sending people home in Philly. The Seven Elevens. They're like, "Oh yeah, thank you, man. Oh, I'm gonna go home." <laughs> like, yeah, it's pretty bad out there. You should probably be with your family. Yeah, I was like, yeah. You want to take something with you? Go ahead. No, all right. Uh, I posted a number there. I didn't format it, but it's uh. I can handle it. I've hardly drank anything. There you go. Eighty-five GMC Sierra. I know nothing about cars. Uh, you should definitely take it then. Definitely. I remember to turn off the music for all of those calls. So good. I'm awesome. Very good. <laughs> Proud of you. Oh yeah. So VFWs. What do they do tonight? Like they have. Yeah, they have parties, the VFW members, free parties. And, okay, well, it's like a veterans vet. thing? Yeah, vets. Yeah, vets get into the VFW, yep, and, so, their, and their spouses and their gumas. Is it mostly old people? Not anymore, not as much anymore. It's a lot of, you get a lot of Iraqi vets now and stuff. All right. It used to be an old crowd, but now the, uh, I read an article where, like, there's a younger crowd because of the two new wars. Uh, yeah, two new yeah. wars, yeah. All right. Yeah. That's interesting. I've never really yeah. been in one before. I know someone that worked as a bartender in one. And he used to get shitty tips from the old people. He used to hate it. So it's a bar. They get like they, yeah they have like a little bar there and dance hall and stuff. Yeah, my grandma used to go all the time. Is, is the, it open to the public? No. Nah, well, you can bring so you can bring a, a plus one. You know, with you if you okay. want if you're a vet. Some of them you can pay, I think, to get in if they have a special event. Like tonight, they might have, like, you know. I'll just wear my well, army uh, jacket. Tonight, usually, it's probably only vets, I think. Yeah. I was at the grocery store the other day. I was wearing an army jacket, and this old man's behind me, and he kept trying to talk to me, and I don't like talking to people. Oh, and, he would probably would have paid for your shit, man. That's a <laughs> big thing. Yeah, but he, he actually said thank you for your services to me. And, like, like I look like an army person. I'm old and <laughs> fat. <laughs> yeah, that's Come what on. I look like. <laughs> 
<laughs> she's like, well, I'm gay. She should have told it, it was, I got kicked out for gay. It's the shitty old army jacket I stole out of a car in 1992. <laughs> that is awesome. <laughs> and apparently it makes me look like a vet. Yeah, keep doing it. You should go out <laughs> to the restaurants and stuff. Get free food. Uh, Circle K here. I'll, 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 I'll guess I'll try and get back on. Uh, dead, uh, get a customer for you. Yeah. Thanks for calling Gas Mart. This is Peggy. May I help you? Hi, this is Paul from the corporate office with Gas Mart. I'm just yes. calling to do the weekly customer survey. Do you have a customer in there I could speak with? Uh, I do. Okay, that'd be great. Um, If you let them know they get like a free soda or a hot dog or whatever, we just do a, a survey. It takes maybe a minute. Okay. Thank you. Mm-hmm. Hold on one moment. Gas Mart. <laughs> no. Okay. Get dairy uh, Mart. A corporate office would like you to do a survey. It won't take long. You can get those free. <laughs> what are they talking about? Like I said. Or you can get a soda for free. I mean, no, I, I got two kids in the pocket. Sorry. I would do it, but I got two kids in the pocket. Okay, let me scan your. Right. Basically, I'm all about it, but I, I didn't. What a bitch. Right. <laughs> I got two kids yeah. in the car. Hello? Maybe there'll be another one. <laughs> okay, she didn't want to do the survey. Oh, she didn't. And there's no, no other customers? She's got two kids in the car. No, not uh, this late. No. Can you? Um, yeah, she's got two kids in the car and a drunk boyfriend. She doesn't uh, have time. A drunk boyfriend? <laughs> Is the, hey, I'm sorry, this is Jim in the corporate office. How are you, hon? I'm uh, fine. Peggy, right? Hey, do you, yeah. are you sure? Does she really have kids in the car and all that? Can you go check? Uh, I can't see him from here. I knew it. Oh. Did, did she scan her? Did she use her loyalty card? Uh, no. Oh, she didn't? Okay. All no. right. Because we're, we're going to deactivate that for her being so... She was pretty rude. Pretty rude and nasty to you, I think. It sounded like it from here. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Well, asshole customers. Um, well, do you have any other customers you think coming in? or? Uh, not at the moment. Got a bunch of car guys out there pushing a car into a parking spot because they have a flat tire, but that's about it. <laughs> oh, they can't do that. They can't do that, though. Yeah. If, if they come in, tell them they got to get that car. They have ten, you know, uh, 60 minutes to get that towed or... Or as a lot, you know, or we'll tow it at their expense. Write that down, Steve. Write that down that we're going to have that car towed. Okay, I'm writing it down. Maybe, ma'am, you could go out there and tell them to push that back out into the street. <clears throat> yeah. Okay. But I mean, if if they're coming in, maybe we could talk to them. Yeah, they they either have to come in and explain what's uh, let us know how long they're going to keep the car there. Or, you know, because we need to document it or, or they can't leave that car there for a long time. Right. Well, he came in and asked if he could leave it till morning. What did you say? Normally, we usually let them. I'm not sure what company policy is. And uh, usually after 24 hours, if they're still out there, we call a tow truck. Uh, uh, Steve, we're going to have to write Peggy up because that's not a lot. Uh, unless you can. I'm printing out the write-up form. Yeah, can you uh, listen, Peggy? I'm sorry, but if you're gonna have to go out there and explain to them that they need to get the car out of there, okay. or we're gonna have to write you up. I mean, I'm sorry. I'm not trying to. I know it's the holiday. I understand. Can you please do that and let me? No, Liz, we'll, we'll hang on the line. We want to know whether or not they they do it or okay. not. Because or, or if you bring them in, we could talk to them even. Yeah, yeah. we Thank can make an arrangement. Come here. Yeah. I got this breath. Who's the one that owns that car? Tell him I need to talk to him. I'm going to print out the tow form here. Yeah, please. Get that all ready. All the paperwork. Doing this for Polkja in Tiny Jet. Yeah, um, I 
Hello. Yeah, hi, this is Ralph Littlejohn with uh, the corporate office. I understand you have a disabled vehicle you're going to be leaving here? Yes. How long were you expecting to leave it there for? Because it's usually not allowed. It takes up space. Uh, yeah, I understand. But, um, like sometime until the morning. Uh, were you were you going to like do a, this? Is this car insured? Does it have yeah, insurance? Insured. And you got valid plates on it? Uh, I have a temporary tag as of right now. Temporary tag. Did you just buy it or what happened? Yeah, I just bought it. You just bought it. And yep. it already broke. What's wrong with it? Is it a, a bad flat tire? tire? Flat tire? Yeah. Um, I mean, you, you, we can let you leave it there for about 60 minutes. And after that, either either, either has to go or we're going to tow it at your expense. Uh, yeah, because we, you know, we have a lot of bums, you know, leaving cars in there and taking up the space, and it's the space for just our customer. Were you planning on buying anything? Uh, no, we just came over here because my car was running funny, so I pulled into the parking lot. All right. Well, you think maybe you could buy a few things, and we'll let you leave it there for a few hours. But if you're not going to buy anything, you, we're going to have to ask you to push the car out into the street, out to the public right away. What are you going to buy? I don't know, something. You have to spend at least uh, $20 before taxes. What? Before sale. You have to spend at least $20 before sales tax. What kind of... No, don't curse, because I'll have that car towed right now. All right, man, my mom is on her way. I'll figure out what I can do. Oh, your mom's right going your, your to solve your problems? Is that what it is? What? Your mom's going to solve your problems. You have to call mommy to come fix the problem. First off, who are you talking to? I'm talking to a stupid customer that leaves a piece of shit car in my store. That's who I'm talking to. Uh, I don't know who this is. I don't know, but they're talking reckless, and I'm about to tell them about themselves, because you can go fuck yourself. How about that? Why don't you go fuck your mom when she gets there? Uh, I hope this call. Who are you talking to, bitch ass nigga? Do you want me? I'll beat the fuck out of you. Who the fuck are you? Come up here if you want to right now. Whatever, faggot ass nigga. Who are you talking to, bitch ass motherfucker? Man, you're soft, nigga. You're soft. the fuck you, bitch ass nigga? Come up here if you want to, pussy nigga. What's up? All right, get get that piece of shit car out of there. Hello. Yeah, get get that car. I want that car out right now. Right now. Okay. Tell, get the stupid Y'all car. Out. I know, you need to leave and get your car. You gotta take your car out of here. Tell him to push that crappy ass car out of there right now. Unbelievable. Yeah. <laughs> right? Mm-hmm. Is he Afri- is he black? Is he a black? Yes. Guilty. You know what you call a black man running down the street? Guilty. <laughs> she's on the same she's on the same level as, as us, Steve. All right, well, I don't, have, I don't know what else we can do here. Steve, you got anything for her? Does that guy maybe want to do the customer survey? Oh, uh, no, they're with him, so. <laughs> oh. You're pretty upset. He's upset. But I have another customer coming in. All right, okay. yeah. What's going on? All right. I'm having a problem laughing too much, so I keep having to mute, sir. Yeah, it's okay. I understand. I'm just waiting to hear some gunshots or something. <laughs> Ma'am, are you still there? Yeah, I'm oh, still here. Ignore what I'm saying. <laughs> yeah, Ed, did you want to see if the uh, new customer wants to do the survey? Uh, yeah, as soon as he comes to the counter. All right, sweetie, thank you. Mm-hmm. Are those men out there loitering, those blacks? Are they out there still? Yeah, they're waiting on these two guys to run it again. Yeah, they're waiting on two of their friends that are getting some stuff. Oh, they got no, no sale. 
Tell them no sale. Okay. Carly, don't know. I can't. I've been told not to. <laughs> You're gonna get her killed. Oh, God. Oh, Jesus. <laughs> okay, they're leaving. Alright, good, good. Alright, well. Uh, Steve, what should we do? I'm doing a, a survey, customer survey. <laughs> get a free soda. Oh my god. No. No, they're not? No, no. sale. <laughs> Tell them no sale. They need to leave yeah. immediately. Leave yeah. the premises. For, yeah, for survey or, or nothing. Or no service. No survey, no service. Okay. Oh my god, I'm I'm s- sweating. We gotta back out. We gotta back out of this, Steve. I can't. <laughs> we gotta what? I, uh, I need you to be the surveyor. Yeah. Oh my God. It won't take it two, three minutes. Nope. All right. Well, no sale. Uh, can Can we talk to him and, and just tell him it's not a survey? It's It's just the corporate office needs to have a quick word with them. And he just went out the door. <sighs> can you yell after him, maybe, or? I mean, it would just take a second. I just wanted to let... I wanted to get him to let you know that you'd been pwned. But, I mean, if he's gone, I guess we can't do that. Yeah, he's gone. All right, Peggy. Well, thanks for your cooperation. We'll follow up with you later tonight, all right? Okay. All right. Well, be safe. Be careful, yeah, all right? Don't, don't get, don't get oh, shot. Yeah. yeah, and make sure those guys get out of there with that, that junker car. Uh, yeah, they just left. If you have to use physical force with them, that's fine, you know. (laughs) Let us know. We'll we'll send a, you know, we'll send security down there. Corporate security. Okay. All right. Well, it'll be a happy new year. Happy new year. Happy new year, Peggy. See you. Thank you. Bye, Peggy. Bye. (laughs) Oh, shit. Bless her heart. Oh, my God. (laughs) (laughs) She kicked customers out for not doing the service. (laughs) Man, I'm a, I'm like afraid for her. Like I know gonna... that's why I was like, we got to get out. Cause you see, no, no. Can you imagine going into a Seven Eleven and like either you talk on the phone or you're out of here. Uh, right. I wish we could have talked to him. It's like do what I said. Uh, Man, she she does not have a mind of her own. She was like, awesome though. That was funny. That guy was awesome too. Yeah, the first Man, guy, the guy go... with the car. I thought I didn't know he's black. I thought he's more redneck. But, uh, yeah, until he said the N-word. Yeah. You, you can't, you couldn't hear it, but I was playing dueling banjos the whole time behind you. <laughs> <laughs> he, did, he sounds like a country black dude, you know? But he was like, man, I'm about to tell this nigga who I is. I'm going to tell him about himself. <laughs> wow. Okay, there uh, we go. He, you and I are not, or we need to stop doing shows together. Cause I don't know, we've been... We're going to end up like those Australian dope. DJs and get someone killed. We've, we fucked up with NORAD recently. <laughs> God damn. We've done some crazy shit the last seven days. <laughs> wow. Uh, wow. All right. Man, I almost need a break. All right. Oh, yeah. We oh, can wait, do wait, that. wait, wait. No, wait. We got to do something here. Hold on. Uh, we got to do this. It, it's, uh, it's New Year's Eve. It's fireworks time in, in the mountain time zone.
back. Yay! I love that song. Yeah, the chat room loves it. <laughs> what are they saying? I didn't even look. <laughs> what is this Hillary Duff? Fuck this shit. Why is he playing this shit? <laughs> and they want to know, you're recording this. That, that was a big question, oh, too. Yeah. yeah, the whole thing's being recorded. I, I will put it up. I put up the Christmas show, but I wasn't sure if you wanted me to really tell anyone about it, because it hasn't been edited at all. Yeah, that's fine. I don't care. <laughs> all right. When, when I edit it, then we'll have you pull it off. Take it up. Um... Actually, uh, the Christmas show, I think it's on my YouTube, too. I think it's oh, double put. Yeah, yeah it, last yeah. I checked, it was still up there. But you yeah. know, I, I put the MP3 up for you to download, but I, oh. I haven't told anyone cool. else about it. Yeah, that's cool. Yeah, Well, my server, I finally built the new server, so I'll start editing soon. Uh, I'll pick that up, but yeah, people... a, a, as I edit shows, and I'll pull them off of YouTube. So I, I just wanted my YouTube channel to at least have something on there. People so are complaining people... at me because you, you're so behind on putting shows on the podcast feed. Hey, man, it's not my fault. I got Damn. hacked. <laughs> no, I didn't get hacked, but yeah. But I got a life, guys. You know, sorry. <laughs> yeah, yeah. See, I was always good about that because I don't have a life. Carlito, yeah. you do you do things. I got a job. Got a wife. Madhouse chat, like during that call, Mr. Clay was, he was, uh, he was saying these, or what did he say? I've got bronchitis. I'm coughing and laughing over here. Uh, <laughs> I, that was awesome. I really, you got to put that on YouTube really fast. That, you know what I mean? I need a quick turn right. on that one. Y- yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yeah, that was a good the one. Usual That's rate, the usual rate, correct? Full. Yes. Yes, at the usual rate. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> Someone went in the, someone's in the chat room is Sweet 16. They say 2013 is the year of the botnet. Indeed. <laughs> it's one awesome thing about Tiny Chat. You can just see everyone cracking up over your, you know, people's <laughs> stupidity. Convenience stores. Uh, uh, Polaris, yeah. Uh, see, Polaris, real quick. Yeah, uh, Tabachi, Tabachi hit me up about editing some of those shows. I might take them up on that offer uh, so I can catch up quicker. They're offering to edit the uh, the shows that are behind. Hmm. I've got one edited and ready to go. I just didn't get a chance to upload it before the uh, old server went down. Uh, but I've got it on, on an external hard drive. I'll try to push that out uh, tomorrow. Well, I don't know if you want to put shows up out of order, but maybe if you want, I could go through the Christmas show because I know where most of the stuff is on that one. And yeah, like what do yeah, you want to edit it out? Like just the word Sears. Yeah. The word Sears. <laughs> yeah, I, I think Sears. I think that's yeah because yeah, yeah that I one's think that's... like five and a half hours. If you guys missed the Christmas Eve show, you missed some really good stuff. It was a lot of fun. Yeah, but it's on the it's uh, on the Madhouse YouTube, and there's a MP3 version that Brad's got out also. So we might maybe tomorrow night I'll I'll go through it and start editing yeah. out all those words. Yeah, that's fine. If it's out of order, it's not a big deal because I can always change posting dates on my website as long as they get out. I think that's what people want. They just want something. So yeah, that's fine. We'll do it. We'll make it happen. It'll be a group effort. Hell yeah! <laughs> so we got mm-hmm. one one girl to go home. <laughs> Or another girl to chase yeah. off, you know, the color, <laughs> colors from her store. <laughs> colors with the stolen car with temporary tags. <laughs> she chased yeah. off two people out of her store for no reason at all. <laughs> and the way she said it, too, like she's just completely insulting to them. Like, you got to leave. You got to get out you of gotta here. You got to leave. Yeah, you got to leave. You got to leave. <laughs> and it sounds like she's up by herself. I'm really uh, am kind of worried, worried about her. What, what is it called? Gas Mart? Gas Mart. Yeah. I never heard of that. Gas Mart. Yeah, it, it seems like every single Circle K in in Kansas City are, is now Gas Mart. Mm-hmm. There you go. Well, I don't know. I guess I don't know if that's a separate company or, or changing their name. Circle K, you think that's a good, pretty good, uh, you know, because of the movies. Well, with Bill and Ted, you think they keep that Circle K yeah. name. Yeah. Yep. So. I, I worked at a Circle K that got bought out by a 7-Eleven back in really? 90, mid-90s, 95. Yeah, they fucked it all up. No, no, not really. They just changed the signs, and that was it. I, w- cool. I, when I the first Circle K I worked at, um, it was just a year or two after the movies came out, and uh, mm. you know the company newsletter. I'm sure I, I've said this on the air. I remember saying this, so I'm sorry if I'm repeating myself. But uh, mm. the newsletter is like uh, you know one of the headlines articles were like uh, you know strange things are afoot, and <laughs> started talking uh- about changes coming to Circle K. They, they were just uh, quoting Bill and Ted all over the place. They apparently really loved that. I wonder if they dropped any money for that, or if the you know what I mean for those. Yeah, I don't know those shows. Did I, the second one have Circle? Did they say Circle K in the second one, or there wasn't much of, at the no, Circle I K going on? I don't remember any Circle K stuff. There was a hardware I store. Think, I don't know if it was real or not. 
Yeah, I don't know. Hmm. No, so the Circle K was a big part of the first one. Yeah. yeah. I've always wanted to... I, I know someone else has done this, but I've always wanted to do this. Like, call up every Circle K in the United States and ask them when the Mongols ruled China. There you go. Yeah. <laughs> ask remember. about ask about so crates. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you know my mom for the longest she called it K. She thought it was just K because it was just the K in the circle. I used to yell at her like it's Circle K, not K. Yeah, Pol- like, oh. Polaris is saying like all the Circle Ks are owned by Seven Eleven. I don't think it's all of them. It's uh, I know in Texas it was something like that. Like they merged, uh-huh. like they were partners, but then they wanted to brand everything as Seven Eleven. No, that makes sense. I like Seven Eleven has good sandwiches. You know the the Cuban sandwich. I was hooked on those for a long. I don't know if you ever did. They have the Cuban sandwich at Circle K when you worked there, where you had to press it and all that. No, no, nothing like that. Yeah, yeah. I knew you used to, used to piss them off when I get a Cuban sandwich because like the the guy used to have to open the sandwich and put it in the fucking sandwich press and all that. I was like, I don't give a shit, man. That's how I like. I want my sandwich warm. <laughs> there was a year or two ago when we um, uh, I forget who it was. I but we were called all these circle k's and we said that circle k it, it was a racist term and we were changing the name of the store to circle o <laughs> <laughs> we had we had like some foreign guy saying we, we made him stay on the phone we're like next person that comes in you need to say welcome to circle o and you know thank you for shopping at circle o circle o. stop being a racist <laughs> oh man that okay it's okay now no it's not circle k it's okay <laughs> Yeah, well, I think the rumor back in the day was that it was a it was a clan sign. Like whenever you saw the K symbol anywhere, it was a it was like front for the clan. Did you ever hear that? Remember they used to mm-hmm. say Snapple had a. This, remember the old Snapple bottle had the um, had a ship the from the Tea Party on it uh, from the original that. Boston Tea Party, and they people used to say, "Oh, that's a slave ship." They used to say, <laughs> "Of course it is. That makes perfect yeah, sense." Yeah, and it had it had the the kosher thing. It was a K symbol that meant kosher and everyone was like see that's it's just the clan that's what it stands for and these people were also convinced that the kfc chicken had uh, something that made black people sick or addicted or something ah. <laughs> it reminds that in me itself of, was racist. there was an old eddie murphy movie from i think maybe the mid 90s where he's just some crazy hollywood star and, and he's like I, I just read this new script you gave me i ran it through the word processor and there are exactly this number of k's in it and that's divisible by three so this script is racist that movie is Bowfinger. That is one of the most <laughs> yeah, unrated Finger. movies ever, man. That yeah. is that's Steve Martin, right? I, yeah, I haven't and, seen it yeah. since back then. I I, I really kind of want to see that again. Yeah, that's an awesome movie. They, what was his name? Remember that was where they're making the fake movie and they kept following him around and he yeah. was crazy. Yeah, and that was already. Brilliant. Yeah, and yeah. at some point he, he admitted that he had plutonium. <laughs> <laughs> like they, what was it? When they came up to him and they're like, "Tell us about the plutonium." I was like, "How'd you know about the plutonium?" <laughs> I, don't even I the, have. I, I got the that. plutonium for religious purposes. <laughs> like, what? I got to see that now. Yeah, it, it was all a, Scientology, wasn't it? Or, or yeah, they, but it, mind mind head. Yeah, and it was supposed okay. to be Scientology. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> he did. He he kept flashing the Laker girls or something. They kept saying yeah. like, you know, you know about the Laker girls. Don't flash the Laker girls anymore. You remember more of this than I do. I, I need to watch. I, this. That's an awesome movie, man. Yeah, yeah. Steve Martin and. That one chick was the oh the one girl who was she was a roller girl and and boogie nights I forgot her name she's hot <laughs> she was in the second Austin Powers movie she was in that too uh, Michelle Williams no no no, no. <laughs> if I was Michelle right I was gonna be like why the hell do I remember that <laughs> that was Michelle Williams no Michelle I think she was in one of the she was in something yeah boogie yeah. nights that's a good movie too I want to see that now I'm gonna watch that <laughs> well, let's just quit the show and watch movies let's watch boogie nights yeah there you go. We should put it on Tiny Chat. We'll put Bowfinger up. That's right. Boogie Nights uh, and down. Austin Powers, the second one. I'm writing down Bowfinger because I'm not going to remember that title. Yeah, It's been so long. I, I had that on VHS once, but I never watched it. Yeah. I, I shared that movie with a lot of people. And they were like, this movie's awesome. Why didn't I never heard about it. Yeah. Yeah. Good times, man. Yep. Yep. I could do Circle K's all night <laughs> if you don't have any other ideas. Ah, I'm coming up blank with numbers, so yeah, yeah, we could do that. If anyone wants to submit things, I guess they could send them to me, phonelosers.org on Skype. Yeah, just make them domestic numbers, because we don't have any international Yeah, uh, if if people really want to do international, like depending on how long we go, I I could put 10 bucks on there. I've got PayPal money right now. There you go. PayPal money. All right, cool. All right. Any Circle Ks in Hawaii, I wonder? I wonder... (laughs) That's pretty early over there. Yeah. yeah. 
I, I want to call that lady back from just a, a while ago and say, by the way, that was a prank call, man. <laughs> <laughs> dude what the, some guy in that youtube christmas eve uh video you put up the guy's like it's what did he say some weird guys in there saying that he wants to make a new thing in 2013 where all prank calls are only you know we need to come to agreement that at the end of it what was it that oh. like everyone had can joke about it at the end that you, you he only accepts he only thinks prank calls should be done if you call back a second time and tell him that it was a prank <laughs> i i usually claim to people that i do that oh shit um if we're off the air, somebody say something, like right now. Sure. I, I think it's just my stats are off the air, but I think we're on the air, so everything's okay. Uh, I'm showing online on both networks, so we should be okay. okay. I don't know what's wrong with my Sam Broadcaster on this new computer. It's It does weird things. Yeah, it's this Rail Maze theme right now. So. All right, All right. We're, we're probably fine then. Yeah, we're good. Uh, what were we even talking about? <laughs> Circle K. Yeah, um... Yeah, I don't even know what you're talking about. Where's where's this at? That someone said this. Who uh, comment in there? What this guy say? Some idiot. Was it on YouTube or your forum? Yeah, no, it was on on YouTube. This guy was trolling something troll association. I guess I don't know. Oh, troll alliance. Yeah, yeah he troll on my alliance. Stuff. He's a weirdo, and and I went to see. Is this guy a prank caller? I never heard of him before, and he doesn't have anything on his channel. So I don't think I don't know where he's coming from. He might have been the one I had to uh, block on YouTube. I, I, you know, I block. I, I get trolled constantly on YouTube, so I just I, I block people. I don't want to see yeah. him. haters, man. Yeah, I know. I hear you, man. <sighs> Every All day. right. Every day, man. All right. So let's see. I'm looking for numbers. Don't worry. I'm, oh, I'm on the uh, side. I just got three messages on Skype. What we got? Uh, okay, Miriam sending a link that looks uh, okay fine I'll I'll click it <laughs> this might be the this is an article this isn't a oh okay this is the guy with the car oh I've seen this already it's where you connect two Domino's pizzas together it's just an idea it's not a number it's never worked for me that that trick I, I used to do that in uh, like <laughs> in the early 90s uh, I'd connect Chinese restaurants together and taxi cab companies together mm-hmm and you get them to Say the order back. It, it, it seems oh, no, fun. I didn't do that. Um, no? I would just connect them together and listen to the confusion. Mm. If one answered before the other, I'd say, this is the AT&T operator. I'm connecting your call. Please hold. Good idea. Uh, Tabachi wants us to call a timeshare condominium Okay. in, I think, maybe Kentucky. All right, cool. Well, let's do it. Sounds yeah, like a as plan. Of this morning, all rooms answered. Have fun. Um, okay, he gave me the wrong number. <laughs> okay, he gave thank me, you, Tabachi. He gave me the right. Okay, he says, try calling this timeshare condominium. You can call into any room in building A, B, or C. All right. And he says all rooms have answered. I guess he's tried it. He's tried it. Oh, you can bounce <laughs> around. Okay. F- cool. FBI, can I help you? <laughs> That's what they're going to answer. Yeah. Tabachi's. Welcome to Cathedral Ledge Condominium Resort. You, you want it? If you know your party's mm. connection. You may enter it now. Okay. To search by unit number, press 1. For reservations, press 2. For bookkeeping, <sighs> press 3. For owner service, press 4. What should I hit? Like, 203? Please wait a oh, shit. moment. Oh. He didn't tell me the format they're in. I know. Stupid Tabachi. Come on, Tabachi. Give us the whole picture, man. God damn it. Hi, you have reached the Cathedral Ledge Resort. We are unable to answer... Yeah. Yeah, Tabachi, tell us what to do. What's the code? What's the plan? I don't know what it is, even. It's a timeshare. Oh, okay. so it's just people on vacation or something? Yeah, time. You know, yeah, timeshare is a, like it's a property and you lease it for a week uh, out of the year and you book it for that week. Okay. Something like everyone shares ownership of the property, something like that. Yeah. There's black cat dates. It, it's, my, it's a My scam. wife signed us up for one of those free vacation. Just listen to our timeshare shit. And, you know, they're trying yeah. to hard sell us and. It's the horrible. It's a horrible deal. Like just yeah. get a hotel room. Yeah, my dad. Back in in Orlando, they have tons of timeshares, and my dad was like, "Oh, we can go to this timeshare place and watch their movie, and they'll give us a free answering machine." <laughs> and they they hard sold them for like three hours. Like you got to buy this, and you got to get this timeshare, and they got turned into a big argument. But my dad ended up getting that answering machine. <laughs> nice. Well, yeah, we, we got like a free. Three nights or something, maybe two nights, uh, stay in Branson, Missouri. Branson. 
Oh boy. <laughs> <laughs> it's like a place where old people go for entertainment. Yeah. It's like Las Vegas and, of the Midwest. Yeah, that and Dollywood. <laughs> I don't even know, is Dollywood even still open? I don't, I don't even know what that is. I've heard of it. But... Dolly Parton had a town. Yeah. She, yeah. 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 Yeah, there we go. I'm looking up uh, Craigslist. Uh, there's a moving sale here. Let me see if they got a phone number. No. Yes, they do. LCD TV and shit in uh, Arizona. <laughs> I'll post this. We'll see if they... Tabachi's uh, saying, listen to the menu carefully. There's an option to dial 123 you- for building ABC. You reach the front desk extension in building B, room one. Tabachi, we've been drinking. Come on. <laughs> Yeah, t- t- spell it out for us. Tell us exactly what to dial. You listen to it, Tabachi, and tell us. You listen carefully. We'll try it again. Maybe I can wing it. That's it. Uh, okay. You, you, All right. All right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I don't mean to be a jerk, Tabachi. I just I don't, I don't know. Uh, I've got too much going on here. I can't concentrate on numbers. I'm gonna drink and I need more scotch. Welcome to Cathedral Ledge Condominium Resort. If you know your party's extension. You may enter okay. it now. I'm going to hit two. To search by unit number, press one. Oh, For one. reservation, press one. two. Okay. Oh. Oh. We both hit it. Whoa. For building A, press one. You do. For building okay. B, building press one. Building A. For unit A1, press one. For unit A2, press okay. two. All right. All right. That's For easy. You- Sorry, Tabachi, for doubting you. Which one Please you do? wait a moment. I-, I have no idea. I don't know what to do. <laughs> I don't know what Let's just do. fail with this one and the next one. Maybe we'll do awesome at. Oh shit! To leave a message, press one. To enter another extension, press star. Okay, I'm gonna hit star. For unit A one, press one. For unit A two, okay. press two. I hit For one unit... before. I'm hitting two. Please so wait A two. A moment. All right. Do they have like a front desk or something? We can be. Yeah, they didn't answer. We tried it already. Okay. This is East Coast, I believe. It's like uh, Massachusetts or something, maybe. East side till I die. To leave a message, press 1. To enter another extension, press star. Oh, shit. Star. Oop. For unit A1, okay, press we, 1. Okay, the first three in building A, moment. and he says they're all answering. Oh, all answering. I think Tabata used them up. They're, like, afraid to answer because he already fucked with them. Maybe tell them to shut off. Stop doing fireworks out of their window. Yeah. <laughs> New Year's has been over for a couple hours now. To leave a message, press 1. To enter another extension. For unit A1, Polaris press just uh, had the exact same For idea unit... as me at the same time. Please wait a moment. He just posted it in the chat room. I swear I wasn't stealing that from you, Polaris. We just think alike. Hi, yes, hi. Uh, this is the uh, front desk here at the condominiums. Yep. We have a noise complaint. Are you shooting off fireworks for New Year's at all? Uh, we are uh, a young family. They're all in bed. Uh, well, who's making all the firework noise out there out of your front window? Someone's shooting off fireworks out of the front window, and we've narrowed it down to your unit here in this building. It's not, it's not our unit. It's well, your there's... Unit well, if you remember when you signed the the agreement, there's no smoking and there's no fireworks, unless you have a permit. Are you are you full of shit? Is this really the front desk? Front desk the, isn't Yeah, here. no, the, no. This right. is the front desk. This is the front desk. All right. Why and... don't you come to the front door? Why don't you come to the front door and I'll be downstairs waiting for you? Why don't you come to the front desk? How about that? I'm not allowed to leave the front <laughs> desk. I'm the only person here. <laughs> <laughs> All right. <laughs> I think that was option four. Yeah, A4. So okay. send A5 to A4 now. That's all we got to do. <laughs> Welcome to Cathedral Ledge Condominium <laughs> Resort. If you know your party's extension, you may enter it now. To search uh, by unit number, press 1. Okay. I'm going to make For sure there is a 5. A, press 1. For building B, press 2. Building A again. For unit A1, press 1. For unit A2, Okay, I'm going to hit 5, two. and we'll just hope that it's there. Please wait a moment. You want to take it again? Uh, you, you send them over, so there's... Yeah. Or do something. I, I don't know what to do. This. 
Fireworks. All right, all right. All right. <laughs> I should have told them to control their kids. <laughs> you need to go out there and check on your kids because they're. To leave a message, press one. Oh. To enter another. For unit A one. I'm, I'm gonna do four again. Please wait a moment. I hope they have an answering machine since they give away free answering machines at those places apparently. To leave a message, ah. press one. Damn it. To enter another. I want to be an answering machine so we can unit yell through A1, it. For unit A one, press one. Okay, six. Please wait a moment. To leave a message, press one. Ah, okay. To enter another. Ex They're on the phone. For unit A one, press one. For unit A. Thank you for calling. Oh no. I was, that, I was, that'd be a limit. That's I, weird. I, well, I was trying to go backwards. I wanted to get to building B. B. Yeah. Um, evil in the madhouse chat. <clears throat> excuse me. Evil ideas is talking. Did, did you? Did, did, condominium. Did you ever call hooked on phonics back in the day? <laughs> uh, no. One eight hundred A B C D E F G. We used to troll them a lot too. Oh, okay, yeah. Actually, I think I've been on conferences where people have called them like a year, yeah. like long, long time ago. Man, I was in high school. We used to call from the uh, football games, high school football games. We used to pay phone at the high school to prank them all the time. Uh, everyone's posting numbers in Madhouse. Polaris is gonna <laughs> just ban everyone. Uh oh, yeah. One eight hundred Polaris. He's got a heavy hand, Jenny. Same. Yeah, the, anybody with that number is used to getting pranked. <laughs> uh, usually they have funny... Met if you call those numbers, the 92 Jenny, whatever um, area code you choose, they usually um, either play the song on their answer machine or they're used to it. You know, they oh, no, roll this, this with the punches. Is, I, I think that's Jenny Craig, isn't it? Oh, you're right, yeah. 192, you're right, you're right. I'm thinking 916, yeah. what was it? 5309. 5309. Yeah. 8675309. Yeah, yeah. Uh, I, I want to talk to this lady real quick. The, the, this, this is the car towing circle. Okay. Sweet. Gas yes. Mart. Thank you for calling Gas Mart. This is Peggy. May I help you? Oh, hello. This is Glenn from the corporate office with Gas Mart. Yeah. Um, we just want to warn you um, we've had some reports that some prank callers are calling up some of our locations and pretending to be the corporate office and, mm -hmm. and making. making uh, clerks do crazy things. I just wanted to make sure you knew about that, and you know, just don't believe anything if anyone calls in for any reason. It's already happened. Oh, what? Really? Yes. Because we just had another one, another location in in um, Kansas City. What what happened there? Um. Well, I had these guys out here with the flat tire, and they wanted to talk to them, and. The, the guys with flat tire ended up cussing at them. And oh, they cussed. Oh, my gosh. Yeah. And it's like, and, I mean, they wanted to have customers talk to them. And if they wouldn't talk to them, they told me, oh, no sale. Make them leave. Oh, my. Yeah. So, but nothing bad happened out of that? I mean, nobody got no. shot? No. Freaked me out a little bit. Oh, yeah. I, I, man, I can imagine. But but that's it. I mean, like they haven't been back or anything. Did they get rid of their car? Did they take the car out of the parking lot? Uh, yeah. <laughs> How'd they get it out if it had a flat tire? Well, they bought some fix a flat, and last I knew, they were over the air pumps. Oh, I see. Okay. And in um, that situation, uh, what should I tell customers with flat tires? Should I let them leave it or? Oh no, no, absolutely not. They're never allowed to leave their car. They have to have it gone within uh, thirty minutes. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, because yeah, so. they said because at first because normally what we do see I don't know the company policy on that but now I do. Um, my boss is telling they can have they have twenty four hours to get it out oh, of here. Oh, twenty four. That's crazy talk. Yeah. Um, maybe but, that really yeah, was the they, Circle K office because it sounds like they were quoting our policy. Mm -hmm. And um, yeah, they said they were going to write me up if they weren't out of here. Oh, we would hour. never do that. No. <laughs> I don't know. Are there any customers in there right now? No, I'm closed now. Oh, they're you're closed for the night. Yeah, we closed at one thirty. Oh, okay. Okay, well, I'll, I'll let you get back to uh, doing your, getting, you know, closing out and everything. Okay. But uh, I thank hope you, you have a good New Year's. Oh, thank you. You too. Sure, no problem. And I, I'm the prank caller, by the way. Oh, lovely. Okay, bye. Bye. <laughs> <laughs> Ha, 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 ha.
<laughs> they actually bought the. I, you know, I was thinking about telling the guy that he had to buy fix a flat. <laughs> so that worked out. Yeah. Yeah. We we just we just hurried everything along basically. Yeah, basically. Yeah, got him out of there. Got him back on the road. Yep. Yep. They'd probably be still be sitting there fucking around if, uh, otherwise. Mm-hmm. So you, you did everyone a favor, basically. We did. Yeah, we got them moving. We motivated them. Get the fix a flat. Go to the pumps. Get moving. <laughs> 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 All right. She seems cool. Though. I like her. We save that number. Um, we can call her probably because she <laughs> right. does anything. Yeah, in the future. <laughs> That'd be funny if we said you got to. Uh, I was. It would have been funny. You would have tried to have done another uh, survey. Yeah, I wanted to. That's why I asked. If anyone <laughs> was there. Oh, by the way, get another survey. Maybe, maybe if we call a third time, like you know, right now, let's see. Hey, <laughs> this is the corporate office for real this time. We need yeah. to warn you about this problem. Well, let me. I'll do it with my voice. Yeah, call her again, and I'll start. <laughs> really? I got. I got. I, yeah, yeah, yeah. I right. have an idea. I have an idea. Uh, I won't screw her up. Me... Oh, fuck it. I don't care. Yeah. Okay. All right. Dialing. All right. Thanks for calling Gasmart. This is Peggy. May I help you? Yes, hi. This is uh, Valente. I'm with the corporate office. We just wanted to give you a heads up. There's some um, callers making harassing calls to um, different gas marts in the area. Um, if you do get that, please don't give any customer information. Don't put any customers on the phone. Okay. Um, and have you had any incidents? Because we just took a call from an African-American man, and he's, he said he was threatening to drive his vehicle through the store. Mm-hmm. and do donuts inside the store like did you ever see that um that movie um oh what's the movie blues brothers where they drove through the mall you know now he was saying he was going to do blues brothers all up in that ass he said mm-hmm. you have any idea why that would have happened i don't follow <laughs> yeah the guy had a flat tire and, and uh i got that call you got the call? Yeah, all right. Well, he, he said he's going to drive his car through the front window and he's going to, like, do donuts. Like, and the car is going to spin it out inside the car, the car inside the inside the store, and then drive it out, back out. Um, Is he there still? Like, uh, do you think he might do that? No, I don't think he's here anymore. Oh, that's good. good. Well, thank God. Thank God and Jesus. Yeah. Uh, Peggy... Um, but you're closed. I, we have down that this location closes closes at one thirty. Is that correct? Yes. All right. Good. Good. Well, just be on the lookout if if you see any cars like in front of the front door revving their engines. Don't let them. Don't lock the door and tell them they can't come in in the car. They have to keep the car outside of the store. Okay. Okay. And you're also going to be reprimanded for laughing at racist jokes, but that's going to come later on. Okay. Okay. And Peggy, do you like sex or? <laughs> do you like sex? That was the big nineties uh, co- uh, come on to women in the uh, chat rooms. Do you like sex? <laughs> ASL. <laughs> yes, every woman just loves it when you say shit like that to them. Do you like sex? Man, yeah, you, you get, is it, I miss Yahoo Chat back when Yahoo Chat was cool, you know? Oh, yeah, yeah. Yeah. But it felt like the future back there. Like, holy shit, we're video chatting. Yeah, even before <laughs> that, for a while, it was just voice chat for a while. Remember when, when you uh, could use microphones? That was a big thing. I don't think I was. No? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I don't know. I just remember when it had cameras. Cameras, yeah. Yeah, um, that was fun. Polkja, the girls Blocks. who name i can't pronounce um she she says you should have told her she would be reprimanded for laughing at the racial joke well that's what i said yeah i was oh, that was for okay. polka is that a bro that's a chick yeah, what's up Pol- what's up girl <laughs> uh, uh william you like sex polka <laughs> <laughs> Will- william p's like i don't know if you're reading madhouse chat but it's like uh, we should get a circle k employee to um segregate the store <laughs> <laughs> segregate the store you know we could do that. You know we could convince someone to do that. To have them put a sign up in the bathroom that says whites only. <laughs> well, most of them don't have bathrooms, but I don't know. Uh, like maybe colored tape on the ground. <laughs> like, 
<laughs> Whites only register. Whites, All right. Coloreds. Yeah. <laughs> coloreds. There's a coloreds register and a whites register. <laughs> yeah. I was going to say water fountains, but those don't exist anymore either. Uh, That's just gross using water. God, I can't believe I used to drink out of water fountains. How gross is that, right? I still do sometimes. Ew. Sorry. Really? Gross. <laughs> Man, yeah, yeah, yeah. Now it's all bottled water, man. That's a big thing. Yep, yep. Yeah. All right. Back in the day, bottled water meant you were a a, a homosexual. Yeah, or French. (laughs) Uh, Mm. You got any more numbers? Should I I just continue in the circle case? Oh wait, you got a fifty-five inch LCD. Yeah, some guy wants to sell a TV so he can get out of the toilet bowl, which is Tucson, Arizona. Okay. That's what he said. Uh, I format. I finally got the formatting right. Oh, so the, that's nice of you. Yeah. Hell yeah! That's not Tucson though. That's that's a Tennessee area code. I mean, maybe uh, he's in Tucson. I don't know. Maybe he's going back to yeah. There you go. To get out of the Tucson. Oh yeah, he wants to get out of Tucson. Go back to Tennessee. I have to get out of the toilet bowl. Tucson toilet bowl. <laughs> it's kind of rude. It's all yours, right? Yeah. Yeah. I'll just run the dot matrix. Hello. Yeah. Hey, you said you got a TV for sale, so you can get out of Tucson. Yeah, I got T- TV. Yeah, TV for sale. Yeah. Uh, when are you? Are you? Are you headed to Tennessee? That's where I'm. That's where I live. I'm headed there myself. No, I'm, I live in Tucson. Oh, okay. But where are you going? Where are you going to? Tennessee. Uh, I'm not sure where I'm going to, but uh, right now, no, I got job offers in West Virginia and uh, California. Oh, that explains it, West Virginia. Yeah, so you got an LCD TV and furniture refrigerator. Yeah, yeah, I got a uh, bunch of stuff. Yeah. Uh, how many? How many refrigerator? The refrigerator. How much furniture does it hold? What? You lost me. I didn't hear. It says you have a furniture refrigerator for sale. I have furniture and a refrigerator. Yeah, no, that's not what it says. You didn't put and or a comma. You just put LCD TV furniture refrigerator. Okay, then. Okay. That's a pretty big refrigerator. Do you think I could I put like a, a couch and the TV inside the refrigerator or keep it cold? It's like a big reefer truck. He's gone. Seriously though, he didn't put any. Um, yeah. That that should be a thing. Calling up Craigslist people and just bitching about their grammar and punctuation. <laughs> their punctuation. I'm an English teacher, and I need to let you know. Yeah. This is really. I give you a fucking D minus on this. <laughs> Try this is, call him back. See if he answers. Right. See. Uh, I went off. Just click Skype. it. I, I wish they. Yeah, I got it. I got it. Yeah, you can just click it, man. I wish they just stay in the window an extra, you know, minute or something. Yeah, they only—I think they only give you like fifteen seconds. Yeah. As soon as he said West Virginia, I put dueling banjos. Your back. call has been forwarded to an automatic voice message oh, system. Name. Six one. Oh. Let no name. name Let me try once more. <laughs> Someone just came in the chat room again in Sweet Sixteen. <laughs> Do what, do what now? That was a fun Christmas Eve show, man. Oh yeah. Well, I'll try and get that edited tomorrow. There was so much, so many lines. Of that do what now? Pussy <laughs> lips. <laughs> a lot of the seer stuff is on my YouTube. Your call has been forwarded to an automatic voice message. There, there's two Sears calls. This, the second one I put up, Sears videos, is is all me and you and. Whatever else happened that night. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. So the first one was ones you did on your own, I think, right? Yeah. Yeah. Yep. Okay. I was just okay. trying them out. Cool. Cool. Fun stuff. Do what now? I think all I right. still have the list somewhere. I should, <laughs> I should call <laughs> call them all back and apologize. Yeah, because yeah, I know we had some like did we didn't new new Photoshop stuff we were saying <laughs> oh, <laughs> yeah. the Photoshop <laughs> reindeers with erections and. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, you, you said they the had the Photoshop boobs on them, and we were all laughing yeah. at them, and <laughs> accidentally <laughs> saved that as the original file. Yeah, because lo- we were all jerked off because it looked like it was her, <laughs> like it was really her. Tits. I didn't write down which person was which, you know, like. <laughs> <laughs> all right.
Uh, I'm going to look for some more numbers. Hang on. <laughs> Let me see. Polk Juz saying we should do more pussy lip print calls. I, I forgot I about that. I don't, rem- I don't remember how that came up. Was that? Did I bring that up? It sounds like something that, I would say. That sounds like something you would say. And, and then yeah. I said it after you started saying it. Yeah. But I know yeah, Matt, I, Matt really liked that one. You're saying their kids were showing their pussy lips on the pictures. <laughs> <laughs> we just what? now noticed it. <laughs> that is horrible. Oh, yeah, and, and I, I said, it, I'm like, it would be okay if they had attractive genitalia, but these are gross. <laughs> <laughs> Big and puffy. <laughs> there was a nip slip one, too, I think. Yeah. Uh, uh, Circle K here. Right, I'll, I'll try and get a customer on the line. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's after midnight, though, so I... Oh, wait, yeah, we should, we should get out of Kansas City, because they said they're having ice. Yeah. That's what I was doing Arizona for that one. I think Arizona's central. I mean, uh, Pacific. No, I don't think so. Uh, don't Arizona is mountain. All mountain. Over. Yeah. That's one boring time zone, mountain. <laughs> okay, here. Yeah, let me get... Let me get. So here's a question, Brad, real quick. You're on the West Coast, so like when Saturday Night Live comes on, is it on at like 9 p.m. for you and shit? I'm pretty sure... It... Oh, wait. No, it's live... I'm pretty sure it comes on at 10.30, like 10.30 10, 10 to 12, because I remember um, I tried to watch it a few years ago. Yeah. It, gotcha. Me and my kids, it's back when we still had cable, me and my kids were up late, and I'm like, hey, you guys ever seen Saturday Night Live? And they are like, no. I'm like, oh, it's hilarious. Let's try and watch it. And it was so boring. Boring. Like just all yeah. political stuff. And yeah. I, I forgot just... that you have to watch just a ton of boring shit to... Yeah, to get to the good stuff, and there was yeah, no, I, no I had stopped watching it for a long time until I got a DVR, and I was like, well, I can fast forward through the shitty, you know, bits and stuff. Yeah, yeah, it's best. For a while, yeah. It's, yeah, just watch it on Hulu. Watch the good stuff, cause yeah, that's that's what I do now. Sunday morning, watch it on Hulu. All right, I want to stay out of Oregon <laughs> on the Circle K. Yeah, let's yeah. go up to Washington, Seattle. I'm sure I've done Washington now. Man, Idaho is. Wait, no. Idaho. Okay, yeah. Part of Idaho is. Um... Here, let me go up to the part of Idaho that's our time zone. I mean, my time zone. Yeah. Oh, but they apparently don't have Circle K's. Fuckers. Uh, they got seven. They got seven loves. They got. I think theirs are called holiday stores. Ooh, that sucks. Yep. Yep. Here's a couple. So uh, the name of the store is called Holiday. So you're the Holiday corporate office, I guess. All right. Are well, you doing? You're opening it. Oh yeah, to get yeah. A I'll, I'll, yeah. I'll, I'll, okay. I'm no good at that. I gotta learn. <laughs> I was thinking I should make a soundboard of, of me getting customers on the line and just put it up and tell people to use that. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh. Dirty Aaron was doing amazing at, with Domino's the other night, doing his own yeah. his own his own invention. I think I, I don't know if mm-hmm. he came up with it or he was getting mm-hmm. customer numbers though. That was a problem. He was doing it on the air, so <laughs> yeah. I actually, I, I, I was gonna call one, and I think I gave someone else the idea, and they did that. They called and warned them that he was about to call. Yeah, it wasn't me. <laughs> Hey, you calling Holiday and Hayden. This is Jamie. Hi, this is um, Carl from the corporate office with Holiday. Um, I'm just calling to do the weekly customer survey. Do you have a customer oh. customer there that I could speak with just for a quick survey? Um, Actually, there's one over getting hot dogs, I think. Okay, that would work. Uh, actually, they get a free uh, hot dog and drink if, if they'd like just to do the survey. Okay, cool. I'll let them know that real quick. Hold okay, on. Okay, great. Thanks. Ma'am? You want to do a quick survey? We've given people like, free beers and holi- and cigarettes and stuff this way. So if you want to, you know, move it up to that. <laughs> yeah, yeah, we'll graduate up. Okay, uh, sir? Yeah. yeah. She uh, has uh, has her kids running around like that, and she kind of refused. She's the only customer in here. If one of the kids want to do the survey, like how old are they? Oh, they're really little. Like uh, five, can, can they five, oh, five? Yeah, they can speak. Yeah, we, we could talk uh, okay. to one of the kids. Okay, uh, all right. Um, let's see if I can get one of them now. One kid do it? 
What's the guy's name? Was it Jamie? I'm not sure. Chat room, what was the name? Okay, here she is. Okay. What was your what was your name, sir? Yeah. Yes, hi. Is this hi, ah, is this a customer? Yes it is. Oh hi, yes. I understand you had some children there? Yeah, my grandchildren, uh huh. Oh, that's good. Are you a member of our uh customer loyalty rewards program? No, I'm not. Oh, would you like you should you should do that. Why haven't you become a loyal you can get um free hot dogs and free drinks? I don't think I want to do that tonight. I don't have time to mess with that tonight. Oh, that's fine. But if you can answer two quick questions for our survey, you can actually get a free hot dog, uh, three of them. And if you have, you said you have two, or were they going to have hot dogs, the kids, or it's just, just for you? Just for my kids, yeah. The grandkids. Okay. Well, we, I can get you two free hot dogs and two free drinks, two free 20 ounce sodas if you're interested. I just have two questions. Okay. All right. All right. So the first one was Do you have, are you a member of the loyalty program? And you said no. Right. All right, good. Yeah. And, and <clears throat> excuse me. And the second one is, um, if would you would you be open if uh, um, the holiday stores started selling uh, pornographic and adult magazines uh, in front of the counter? We were thinking about starting that. Would you think that'd be allowable? Would that be okay? Very offensive. No, huh? That would be uh, enough to make me not come here anymore. Really? Just just because of that? Now, even if yeah. we covered if we covered the the front no, of the magazine, no, I don't. I wouldn't want that anywhere yeah. near my grandchildren. Absolutely yeah. not. I understand. We've heard that from a few customers. Also, um, are you a uh, registered Republican or Democrat? I don't see where that would have any any influence well, on a survey. I don't think you need to know that. I'm sorry. Oh, because we like because if, if you're conservative, then we would understand why you would have a problem with that. Or would you consider yourself conservative or? I'm sorry, mm-hmm. I'm not going to answer that question. All I'm, right, and then I, the, the, I, I gotta go here. I'm well, wait, 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 wait. Free, 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 ho- so free, I gotta go. Okay, bye. Free hot dog. Free hot dogs. Hello. Yeah. Does she, does she want? Ask her if she wants the free hot dogs. Um. Did you want, ma'am? Did you want free hot dogs? She said that's fine. Okay, but I have one last. Can you just tell her I just have one last question, and then she can have the free hot dogs. Sure, hold on. Um, what, I have, what's the deal? What's going on? It's my corporate office. I'm guessing for the customer service. Okay. And I don't know what he's asking. Uh, that. He just wants to ask you one more question. You can have the free hot dogs. I don't know what's going on. You know what? Oh. Okay, sir, I'm so sorry. She says she'd rather pay for a hot dog. All right, well, tell her no sale, and please, she doesn't have to be rude like that with you. We don't need poor, sir, bad customers in there. Okay. Just, can you please tell her right now no sale? Like, ask her to leave. Ask her to leave? Yes, please. Yeah, hold on. Oh, shit. Okay, sir, I did it. All right, so tell tell them no survey, no sale. Okay. All right, thank you. No problem. All right, bye-bye. Bye. <laughs> was that her? She had a husband there, too. You heard her. What's, what's going on? Oh, I, I didn't hear him. I could just I yeah. could barely make out at the end. I just heard a guy like, what's going on? And she's over there. <laughs> baby, baby, baby. They asked me about Papa King. Because I was going to ask the pussy lips. I was going to tell her the magazine is called Big Fat Black Pussy Lips. So. But we can do that the next one if I get another yeah, one. you on. should ask about her pussy lips. <laughs> her pussy lips. That, that's like, in that town, That that's, um, you know, I, I used to visit that town a lot. And that's the major convenience store in the area. That's like the biggest, nicest one. And she's going to, like, where, where is she going to go now? She's so offended. Yeah. Is that even offensive to ask if you're Republican or Democrat? Like, I don't understand where the the offensiveness uh, is. The big deal. Oh, but they, the, when did that become like the thing? Like, that's my business. I don't get that at all. I, I was really surprised yeah. that she had a problem with that. Like, it, it yeah. kind of makes sense. Like, you want to know what kind of customers yeah. you have in there. Demographics, man. Totally. I, I really don't get that. Why she was I offended. E- I don't either. You don't even vote, Brad. So <laughs> Yeah, I, I don't understand politics, but that doesn't make sense. Exactly. All right. All right. (laughs) 
Well, this is fun. You're making me laugh a lot tonight. <laughs> You're ruining all these customer experiences on New Year's. Dude, what time is it over there? She has kid, five year olds running around the fucking. Yeah, uh, what the hell? It's it's uh it's it's eight minutes till midnight right now where she is. Yeah, Ser- yeah right. It's almost New Year's. God, what a horrible grandmother. In in about five minutes, I'm gonna open my window and maybe we'll start hearing fireworks, gunshots. <laughs> yeah. That's the best. People just shoot guns straight into the air. Oh yeah, yeah. I was telling um, oh man, I don't know who I was telling. Like earlier tonight, I was telling how um, yeah, I had neighbors when I lived in Texas. They were, they were running out on their front porch and shooting guns up into the air. We were like on the porch with a two year old. No, nice. <laughs> they were just like running back in the house and getting another gun, and just trying yeah. them all out. It's horrible. They, they were super excited about New Year's. <laughs> Yeah, that's so fucking wrong. <laughs> yeah, because even in Florida, I know they they have a whole. Last year, at least, they had this whole thing where they were like on the radio saying, "Don't do it." You know, it's not worth you know ruining someone's life. Because I know there was one year there was some lady was out like on the lakefront watching fireworks and bullet came right like from five miles away. The bullet came came oh, down wow. and like how fast? Right now, do you know how fast those come down? Like when you shoot a gun up in the air, speed of gravity. That's it. Whatever terminal velocity is, and I heard, I think I heard on that show that you were talking about, someone was arguing that it doesn't do anything, that it's bullshit, but it's not because you know, I know for a fact there was a big story in Orlando that year. They were saying, you know, it was a, it was an illegal immigrant. She was in the hospital and she didn't have insurance, and all these people were like, we'll, we'll pay for her, you know, her medical bills and stuff. They felt bad. Yeah. So yeah. It's, I guess it's worse if, is if you throw like a penny off of the Empire State Building or something. Yeah. Well, I don't know. I don't, I don't know how it works. I imagine it's pretty bad. I imagine a bullet coming down from the sky is pretty bad, man. Oh, I mean, shit. Two people are saying uh, 9.8 miles per second. And, and then someone else is, oh, yeah, 9.8 miles per second. Yeah, because yeah, nothing can go faster than the speed. Unless, well, yeah, that makes sense. Wow, that's really fast, isn't it? <laughs> unless, unless you're shooting it down from the sky. But that doesn't, well, with someone being a helicopter just shooting down. <laughs> Yeah, and, and here's another thing. You, what? Why does it? Why is it so bad for people to have laser lights and shining them in, at police helicopters? That happens a lot too. People got arrested for that. Someone got oh, arrested yeah. for that recently in Florida. I, I saw the, a video of that happening, like uh, of you know, from the point of view of the police helicopter. And yeah. I mean, they were like, you know, really, really far away. They zoomed right in on them. They they got like uh, infrared of them. They they tracked them and they sent the cops right to them. Wow. They, they watched the cop pull up and arrest the guy. Is it that big of a deal though? Like, what, is it, it's like not going to. Is a blind? It's just going to blind that. the pilot for a little bit. It's not like yeah. you can really focus unless you got like a. Well, yeah, I don't know. It's definitely not a good thing, but I don't know if it's worth. I, I don't know what happens to the people that get arrested for that. Do they do jail time? I guess I don't know. Was that a misdemeanor? I don't know. It's probably bad if you're fucking shining something at a cop. <laughs> that you, probably breaks some FC, FC, F, 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 what's what FAA regulations yeah, FAA. too. Yeah, yeah a few sure years that. ago, some the airport made some guy take down all his Christmas lights because they were too bright for the pilots. Oh God, bah humbug! <laughs> I just heard my front. Oh wait, hold on. Uh-oh. Oh, uh, my front door just slammed. I think my kids are running outside to <laughs> run around the block. And fire <laughs> shoot <ones>. guns! <laughs> shoot guns in the air! <laughs> They're grabbing their we got, guns. We got daddy's guns. <laughs> 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 I found his Glock. Let's shoot it. <laughs> Yeah. Uh, can, can we take a quick break? I'm going to go see how they're doing and stuff. Yeah, I'm going to go pee. Sounds good. I'll be right okay. back, too. All right. All right. Uh, we'll be back, everyone. Maybe maybe one, two, maybe three songs. Definitely not yeah, more than three. Some Hillary Duff songs coming at you. Yeah, yeah. Let's play Sweet 16 since somebody in the chat room likes that so much. It's uh, a banging song. <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, yeah, three songs tops. We'll see you guys in a minute. There, emotionally abusive. <laughs> Billy Joel. Yeah, I said I was going to open my window for fireworks, but instead we went off the air and I ran outside and. <laughs> <laughs> Yell, shut the fuck up, you bastards. Yeah, and I could hear the um, people in the apartment um, near us. Like, I could hear them 
through the floor or the wall or whatever and it sounds like they have a billion kids in there and they're they're all counting down to the you know to the new, new year but but what the hell i mean go outside and look at the fireworks <laughs> why don't they right if you got little kids take them outside and see the fireworks yeah you know, sit there in that stupid box ears <laughs> Countdown numbers, like a fucking shuttle launch. Yeah, it sounds like they're having fun and everything, but it'd be cool to go out and see the flashing lights. Totally. Yeah. So, what what have you built lately on your Simpsons? I haven't looked. I gotta. I'm gonna try to harvest your stuff. Um, I just got the bowling alley done. I just got the White House done. The White House. Yeah, I gotta. I, I need enough of these Santa coins before it's over, so I can build the bowling alley. How do you get donuts? Because I never get. Like I don't know, I get like you one get like every you get like days. one or I don't understand. You get like you can get one or two for leveling up. Seems like it takes a long time. Yeah. You got to pay for them, basically. Yeah, I, I, I feel like an idiot. I I paid twenty bucks for donuts in a, in a like virtual donuts. I paid twenty bucks for virtual donuts. So I, yeah. I'm, I'm retarded. I, I feel like an idiot for that, but it was it was cool to get some things and. Yeah, I paid nine ninety nine and I haven't used them. I've got a hundred two donuts right now. Yeah, I haven't used them. Never gonna do it so again. The, does lard, do, do, can you get donuts if you build lard lad donuts? Will it make donuts? I oh, haven't maybe, built it yet. Maybe that's it because I haven't gotten that far. Uh, no, you have a lard lad. You got one. Oh, already. yeah, I just yeah. got it. And I haven't got. You no, know, I, I got it like yesterday and I haven't received a bunch of donuts from it. So. Oh, well, that's bullshit. I don't know. Uh, yeah. There's a Facebook page for The Simpsons game. Maybe if we go in there and look on the forums. Yeah, we need, I, we need some cheats. I don't know if I told you this, but if you go to the Facebook for, for this game. And you look at any comments, you know, they make posts, you look at the comments on any post, it's just people begging for you to add them on their Simpsons game because they want more friends. Right. And That's I, I've, cool. I've done that to, I've gotten maybe 10 or 15 friends that way. I, I didn't feel like adding any more. Yeah, I got to do that because you're, you're the only friend I've gotten. And I think the game gives you like a fake friend to well, start out with. The, the, yeah, the original alternate universe Simpsons. Yeah. Oh, is that what it's supposed to be? You, okay, uh, you didn't get added by phone losers? Cause that, no, that's, uh, no, Sam- just just RBCP. So Samantha far. from Canada, she's phone losers, and she, oh, she added she me. Didn't... Yeah, I had that same problem I had with you, where we both added each other, and and it it messed up, so we had to cancel each other and re-add each other. Yeah, I'll check that out. I'll reach out to her. Yep, it's a cool game. Big... I like it. I I don't know why, because I usually hate that kind of game. I I it's kind of like Farmville, and I fucking hated Farmville. I thought it was stupid. Yeah. I've never played any game like this before, and, but I saw, I, I think it was, I saw Leo Laporte playing it, and I was like, hey, oh, shit, Simpsons, it looked fun. <laughs> yep. I tried Leo's it. Leo's doing it. And I played a, a zombies game where you had to grow zombies and different zombie things, but I got bored with that after a couple of days. It, it's just not, yeah. it's stupid. Yeah, because these kind of games is like, it's not like you just play a game, you actually have to schedule your life around and stuff. I, I refuse to do that, but... <laughs> I, I woke up at four in the morning last night, just, just you know, by accident, whatever. I woke up at four in the morning, I'm like, oh man, I, I've got some things that are getting ready to happen. I, I'm going to get on my game. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I felt like an idiot doing it, but I did it, and then I went back to sleep. There you go. That's cool. All right, 7-Elevens. In... Spokane. 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 Uh, Samantha, she thought she seriously thought it was pronounced Spokane. Spokane. Is she really? Yeah. That's funny. Yeah, she was really surprised when I called it Spokane. <laughs> Party you are trying to reach has declined to receive this call. Oh. Please try your call. Well, that's weird because that's a 7-Eleven in the on Google Maps. How dare they? Do you ever use Google Maps to look up your numbers? Or, or do you look uh, up numbers? Sometimes, yeah. That's how I found Charlie in Honolulu. I, it was a Google Maps thing, yeah. Yeah, that's like the easiest way to do things. You just move Google Maps, you know, just move it over a few miles and, you know, start doing another city. Zoo, yeah, you can zoom in and find, yeah, yeah. Just, I just pick a town, yeah. I figured that out recently, I think, after I quit the phone show. Yeah. Well, remember, there was a time on Google Maps you could automatically have it call you and stuff. They got rid of that because people were... Yeah. Hi, this is I can barely hear you. This is Paul from the corporate office. I'm calling you to do the weekly customer survey. Okay. Do you have a customer in there I could speak with? Uh actually we're empty right now. Oh, there's nobody out in the parking lot. Uh uh. Well it sounds like your phone's just all messed up anyway. I can barely hear you, or maybe you're just really soft spoken. Um no, but, this is the only phone we got. Um 
like left if laugh track Matt was on, he'd tell you to put some fucking bass in your voice, grow some balls maybe. Oh, he didn't have. Oh wow, that, <laughs> he didn't let me get any of that out, did he? Uh, you put some bass in your mouth. <laughs> yeah. hey, what's the burning bush doing this game? Oh, I don't know. I just I, yeah, it, it just it, sits there. Yeah. yeah, I mean, you know what burning bush is. Well, from the Bible, I don't know the Simpsons version of it. No. Yeah, it must be from an episode or something. But yeah, it's... yeah I haven't really watched the Simpsons regularly for a few years. So I watched the one from uh, two weeks ago. It had the the two people from Portlandia in it, and it was a really good episode. Yeah, was it? it? Yeah. yeah it, it was like. Have you ever watched Portlandia? No, I've heard of it, but I haven't. Mm-mm. Ah, well, I haven't watched it. Anyone listening, like uh, they pretty much turned the Simpsons, they turned Springfield into a Portland type city, and. You know, everybody was hipsters and everything, and it, it was a really, I don't know, it was kind of clever, I guess. Yeah. Well, I used to be, I used to have every single episode on VHS. <laughs> VHS. 7-Eleven on Pond. Devin. Hi, this is Greg from the corporate office. I'm calling to do, to do the weekly customer survey. Do you have a customer in there okay. I could speak with? Um, yeah, let me see if one of them wants to talk to you real quick. Okay, yeah, they get a free hot dog or soft drink. Okay. Hello? Yes, hi, Charlie. Hey, yes, hi. Uh, This is the corporate office. We're doing a customer survey. How are you tonight? Uh, Okay. That's good. Were you going to, are you a member of our, uh, well, if you have time to do the survey, we have three questions. And if you have time to complete the survey, we can give you a free item. Were you planning on getting hot dogs or what were you buying today? Uh, Milk. Milk? I think we could swing yes. that. Is it well, what kind of milk you got? Uh, number it's two a milk? It's a gallon of 2%. Hold gallon on before of... you charge us for that. Yeah, so you're saying oh. if I answer three questions, okay, let's do this then. All right. The first, are you, oh, the first question is, you, well, are you a member of a rewards program? And I think you said you're not? Uh, no, not to my knowledge, no. Okay, well, no. what, when you're checking out, ask them to give you one of the rewards cards, 7-Eleven uh, douchebag. Uh, douche, rewards cards? The, the douche card, tell them. They don't do that here. Okay, well, we'll get you one. We'll, we can get you one. All right, the second question is, do you, uh, would you be offended? We're thinking about starting to roll out um, some of our own adult magazines and novelties inside the stores. Um, would you be opposed if we were selling adult magazines uh, in front of the counter again like we used to? No, not at all. You probably should do that now. You don't have gas pumps, so you don't have to uh, close the store down. There you go, yeah. So we're going to sell adult magazines, lubricants, and, uh, like, dildos and stuff like that. That wouldn't offend you at all. Sure. Not at all. all. Right? Okay. Are you a registered Republican, Democrat, or neither? No. What do you mean, no? No, I'm registered, but not for uh, not a particular party. No, uh, you're independent? Yes, sir. Uh, and who did you vote for in the last election? Uh, probably the last time I voted was uh, Ross Perot. Uh-huh. Ross Perot, about uh, 92 or 96? Oh, probably. It's been a while. It's been a while for you? Okay. I would say yes. Okay, that's good. That's good. Uh, oh, where was I going to go with this? Oh, man, I don't forget. Oh, Steve. Oh, Jesus. Oh, yeah, I take that back. Oh, oh, Hillary Clinton there. I did vote, uh, what was it, a few years back. It's, it's been a little more recent than that. You voted for Hillary for president in the primaries then? Oh, she absolutely. Didn't, she didn't run in the general election. All right. Uh, that's good. No, All right. she didn't, but, uh, you know... Uh, they sent you some ballots in the mail when I lived in Arizona. Yeah, in illegal America, ballots? And, uh, yeah, but it was uh, by mail at the house, sir. Yeah. So we didn't even have to go to the polls. It was all early. Oh, those are probably illegal ballots. Oh, man, it, well, I doubt that, but... Oh, uh, all right. Well, they, that, they that's... They had prepaid postage, so... They had prepaid postage on it and everything? Sure. Great. Okay. All right. So, well, thanks for answering the questions. And uh, so you got your gallon of milk. Now, what you're going to get is you get two minutes to go around the store and grab everything as much as you can uh, in your hands. And anything that you... Are you... Hmm? I said, uh, you're funny now, aren't you? No, 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 no. You actually win the spree. Actually, as a matter of fact, you're the thousands cu- customer for the month and it's the end of the year. Uh, so you you can go around the store. We're going to... We have What's a countdown... Name? Uh, this is Cross Valente and with a corporate office. Are you sure? Yes. Uh, he's absolutely. not going to get fired or anything. Does he know no. about this? No, no. Well, I mean, we're the corporate. Of course, you know, we're the corporate office. Yeah. So you have two minutes. I mean, to go. that doesn't. Uh, 
Pardon? This well, I got this doesn't include any alcohol or tobacco, but you can grab anything you get in your hands in the next two minutes. We'll tell you when to start and we'll tell him when to stop. And anything you grab is free. Are you ready to go? Well, um, I should I hand him the phone so he knows this because I, you know, I don't feel like going to jail this evening. That's for sure. Well, no, nothing's gonna. I'm gonna tell you time, and then you go and grab everything you want, and then he will tell you on the phone when time is up. Okay. You ready? Hold on. Here he is. Hello. Yeah, go tell him that. Uh, tell him. Could you tell him to go? Time. Tell him it's time. What? Can you tell him it's time? Tell him to go. It starts. Tell him to start. To start? Yes, right now. Start what? The spree. Tell him start. Huh? Start. Tell him what are you start. About? Tell him go. Start. Go what? Start what? Go start grabbing stuff. That's what. <laughs> I tried. Uh, that, that you just happened to get one that that was just wouldn't fall for it. Just right there. Oh man, my game crashed. Fuck. Yeah, have you noticed that? Like the Simpsons crashes. Like it's the only program I've ever had for the iPhone that crashes so much. Like yeah. like nothing ever crashes on my yeah. iPhone. And um, yeah. I had the iPhone three until just yesterday. I upgraded to the iPhone four and. I figured that I bought an iPhone four so I could play Simpsons more efficiently. No, you didn't. No. Really? <laughs> no, no. I needed a new iPhone. But yeah. yeah, it still it still does that. Like um, every once in a while, when you do certain things, it just shuts down. Well, I had heard this game came out in October, and they took it off because it was crashing so much, and they made changes. And ah. apparently, they're wow, it's completely frozen. Yep. Shit. Yep. Well, I'm glad yeah. it's just not just me. It's it's you too. Yeah, yeah, you're good. Well, this is not good. Yep. The last time this happened, none of the buildings I made saved. I, I need to keep this quiet, though. I can't let Android users know that my iPhone crashes, or I'll never hear the end of it. it yeah, exactly. Yeah, because they're Linux. Linux is Android. So. <laughs> Linux and Android people, they they just <laughs> very yep. religious about their devices. Yeah, well, I, I use both. Let's see, you know, I get the oh. iPad, iOS for tablet only, and Android for phone only. That's it. Here, that that reminds me. I, I want to get. Oh no, I just left Maps to do this. Man, I suck. Oh. Um, okay. Uh, on on Linux's garbage on um, Facebook, I want to give you a quote by Soliton from the chat room. He's like, okay. eventually, this is what he said in, in one of the comment threads. He's like, eventually Linux will be the only operating system, so you all may as well get used to it. Evolution will take out Microsoft and Crapple. Crapple. Right. <laughs> so everyone be waiting for that. That's going to come. Uh, uh, Linux yeah. is going to completely wipe Apple and Microsoft off the map. We're not going to have a choice in operating systems anymore. It's all going to be Linux. Yeah. I, I, when you when I first got the email that said you had suggested that page, was like, Linux is garbage? What? <laughs> like, who would do such a thing? You know, and I really laughed at the Netflix stuff. Like, I didn't even know you couldn't watch Netflix on Yeah, I didn't know that either. I, I thought it worked in any browser. You would think it would. It's just yeah. Flash running there. Or HTML5, I guess. <laughs> Stupid. Yeah. I, I, don't, I honestly, I don't hate Linux, but I wouldn't. I mean, why use it at home for normal things? The only use I could find, I mean, it's cool, but I wouldn't make it my daily use unless, I mean, I'll, I've put it on laptops that really don't run anything good except for Linux, you know, after mm. a laptop gets old. Oh, yeah. You know, that that's good, so you can get some use out of it. Yeah. I have friends that are just, like, like just diehard Linux freaks that they, they very much into Linux and ashamed to use Windows, but they still have to boot into Windows to play games and do certain things. Yeah, that's just the that's way it they're, is, They're, man. like, hardcore Linux people. Yeah, yeah. That's so if you want to use Face. Who uses Face? Do you do you ever use FaceTime? I don't know anybody on FaceTime, man. Oh no, no. Um, yeah. a, a friend of mine was staying at my house a while back. She was using FaceTime to talk to her boyfriend every single night. Uh, Can you just use Skype? Isn't it the same thing? Well, it's kind of convenient to be holding your. Yeah. Phone. Oh, I mean, I guess Skype does the video thing too. Same thing. Yeah. Yeah. I don't know. I don't they, know. They either. just used it because it was there. I guess that that's the only yeah. person I've ever seen use it ever. Gotcha. I, I don't even know if man. I'm. You know, it just gets configured to use it. I've never had a friend to try it with. Yeah, here I know. I didn't know that they re release. They're re releasing all of, of the old school Final Fantasy games for uh, iOS and Android. I had no idea oh, they were cool. doing that. Yeah, I got Final Fantasy three, uh, which was a 
NES game. They redid it in 3D, and it's out for iOS. I've been playing that a lot, too. In so, between Simpsons, I play Final Fantasy now. That's crazy. It just, that's just so awesome that you can do all this stuff now. Yep. Like, like my, my kids, they have their um, 3DSs, and their 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 Nintendo DSs, and you know they can play every single game on uh, the NES, on the Super NES. Uh, I think on they the, have all of the, the original Atari games on those things. Really? Like uh, emulated or like on a store? Like uh, the yeah, store em- emulated. Uh, it's like emulated. A, one of those ace cards I, I set up. and That's cool. Well, I've been doing that on Android for a while. I've, I've like my Android phone has uh, my SD cards full of every single Atari ROM and NES, SNES. Yeah, yeah we've got that yeah. on our Wii too. We can play all of the, the original Atari 2600 games. Yeah, that's all cool. of the uh, NES except for Duck Hunt cuz no light gun. But. Yeah. <laughs> well, you know uh, on on Android I I play Duck Hunt and instead of the light gun you can just tap on the screen. It makes it really oh, super easy though. That's cool. It's kind of it's kind of it's like playing Duck Hunt where you could where you put the gun up against the TV. It's like cheating. <laughs> so, it's like you get a perfect score each time. Oh, uh, yeah. yeah, that makes. But that's yeah. how all the games are now. If you have to shoot something, you hit the screen. Yeah, this, yeah exactly, man. People have got it easy now. Yeah, it's true. Polaris yeah. helped me out though. He sent me a duck hunt for an, an NES that someone else sent me. Like uh, the NES, the cart NES yeah, cart. Yeah, he sent me the oh. original game cartridge Mario Brothers <clears throat> slash Duck Hunt, and oh, my, my right, son yeah. has a an NES in his room now with a bunch of old NES games. It's kind of yeah. awesome. Yeah, I have an NES. I I bought one on. Uh, there's a hardware store here that they like they if you have like if you're moving out or you have a garage sale they they'll come in they'll give you a few bucks and they'll take everything you don't sell. Um, or they'll go to like uh, houses that are being foreclosed and buy all the stuff out, and then they sell the shit really cheap afterwards. And I was walking downtown, and I think they had two PS ones. I think I already talked about this recently. They had two PS ones, an NES and an SNES for sale. And I offered her twenty bucks, and she gave them to me. I'm like, fine, yeah, hell yeah. So I've got the NES in my closet. I haven't even. I don't even know if it works, but it's there. Um, I just need games for it. Yeah. It's been kind of cool playing it again. You know? Like I haven't played yeah. it since yeah. really since the late '80s or something. Yep, 80s. those are classic timeless games, man. Oh yeah, yeah I had an Atari you know, my, Jaguar. My, my kids, you know, Jag- have, my kids have every game system. You know, like Xbox, Wii, all the 3DSs and all that crap. They still love playing NES. They they have a great time doing that. Yeah, it's cool. Awesome. Well, what's next? Seven Eleven. Uh, hopefully, I'm not calling. No, I'm not calling the same one. Let me try and get a customer again. All right. <laughs> try the you try the shopping spree one. We'll see Evan, if you can, can I help you? Hi, this is Daryl from the corporate office with Seven Eleven. I'm just calling to do the weekly customer survey. Do you have a customer in there we could just talk with and do a quick survey with? Uh, no, not tonight. Oh, is there there nobody coming in right now or? No. Just pretty dead. I, yeah, you'll just have to call back tomorrow. Thanks for calling oh, by. Well, hey, hey. What an asshole. What the f- I wonder, um, that was in the same city, I wonder if they got warned about us. That was pretty that, fast. That kind of sounds well, like that could have happened. Word gets around fast. <laughs> That's happened before, like with Domino's, or like, oh, we just got warned by the other <laughs> Domino's, we know what you're up to. Yeah. Call uh, the police on you. <laughs> <laughs> We're out to get you. I can hear you play in your, your Simpsons thing the whole time you were talking yeah. to that last guy. Yeah, I want to grab some of these sound effects for a soundboard. <laughs> they put out a text alert to all the 7-Eleven employees. <laughs> warning, warning. <laughs> Hello. Hi, how are you doing? Good. Oh, that's great. So Great. did I reach 7-Eleven? Because you didn't answer with 7-Eleven. Yeah, I got 7-Eleven. Oh, I, okay. I thought I got the wrong number. I'm calling from the corporate office with 7-Eleven. Are you following me so far? Marble Red, which one? Marble Reds? I'm sorry. What? what? Hello? Hello? Are you having a seizure? Oh, Fuck! Right there. Yes. Fuck you, motherfucker. Hello? Sir? Hello, sir. I'm calling from the corporate office with 7-Eleven. Yeah. I'm calling to do the weekly customer survey. I just need to talk to a customer so we can do a survey with them. Oh, my God, they're on one. Did... Hello? Hello. Hi. So what's your answer? Could I please talk to a customer to, t- to do a survey? My name is Harry. Yeah, you're Harry. 
I'm calling from the corporate office with Southland, 7-Eleven Southland. Yeah? I'm calling to do a survey. Do you have a customer there? I need to talk to the customer. Okay. So, yeah, just ask the customer if they want to do a survey and put them on the phone, please. Okay. Thank you. Come again. Are you asking them? Because I don't hear you asking. I'm asking. Are you asking a customer to do the survey and put them on the phone? Yeah, I am good uh, working. You're working? Clean up in all the aisles. Sir? Hello? Hi, is there a customer there? Customer, no. Customer is going. Oh, there was like, you know, 12 minutes ago when I first started this conversation. You could have put them on. Is there a customer coming in? Clean up in all the aisles. Is there a customer outside coming in? Yeah. There is? Affirmative? No customer here, no coming. <sighs> yes, no. Yeah, Banchud? Banchud? Yeah, Banchud? Listen, if you're alone, let's get sexy. We have sister there for sex? Sister? Hey, but you asking? I'm asking about sister. You have a sister there? If you're alone, maybe we close the store and turn the lights down and have your sister... You know, we sister? Push the button that brings the disco ball down from above the ceiling tiles. Yeah. yeah. Oh, you speak only, okay? Yeah, put, do you have a customer there? Is there a customer? Hey, what the? Customer, no here. Really? Customer is going. Go I've chase the customer. for like five minutes. Go get them. Say, hey. I you... know, understand my boss call. I have no understanding, but you ask him. Banchud. Banchud, mother chud, you know that? Teri maari lan, teri di maari fudi, teri di. Teri maari lan. Teri maari, teri di lan, teri pan. Teri ja shola kawan saara. Gandu. Teri ma dunna maari, teri di lan, teri di kotya. Uh huh. Teri ma maya chodni dekhi. Suk marani fua. Did you just order a terrorist attack on American soil? Fuck, fuck, this man. Yeah, fuck your mom. Monkey. Dekhi khana chodna, pura totally. Uh-huh. Okay. Could you all this down? Elaborate on that, please. We need more information. <laughs> okay. Has that ever happened before? He understood that part, I guess. Yeah. Oh, shit. I think you just uh, made some sort of a deal. <laughs> a known terror. I made a deal for uh, yeah, opium. <laughs> we have very good opium here. <laughs> Polaris is like, he's speaking in tongues. <laughs> the Holy Spirit took him over. <laughs> I think you just gave that man a religious experience. You should, should be happy hey, about that. Happy New Year. <laughs> what the hell was that? I don't know, man. <laughs> bing, bing, bong. Oh, this one's closed. It says right on Google Maps. Oh, oh wow, I've been to that one. <laughs> All right. Uh... Oh, yeah, I should find another area. I'm all out of them here. Yeah. You want to wrap it up? It's getting late. I didn't even. I just looked at the clock. It's three thirty. Holy shit! <laughs> it's only twelve thirty here. I'm ready to go for well, another eight hours or so. Must be nice. So, so if, if you know, if we're shutting down the show, it's all your fault. Uh, well, you can keep going. Nah, get no, the night, I, no, night. really. I'm, I think I'm like, yeah, that's a great idea. Third shift to nighttime. Hey, you want to hear uh, something fucked up? Yeah. When when I worked at um, all these different convenience stores, uh, if you worked on a daylight savings day. Uh, third shift, they would actually dock your pay for one hour if, That's if, if they lost an hour, or, and they would uh, increase your pay for an hour if you, you know, if you worked on the night where the clock went back or whatever. Yeah, so then you'd want to work on the night when it 
you want to work in the fall, yeah. right? You want to work that night, yeah. and you end up with a bonus hour for the yeah. year. Yeah, I, I would go. get the uh, the shift where the, I lost an hour often because I was always the new employee. I never lasted that long. Damn. Which I didn't care because I just stole money out of the register to make up for it. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> you get your money somehow. And they'd yeah. always tell me, they're like, well, you know what? You, you stay here six months, and you'll be the one that works to get an extra hour. Get an extra $5 or whatever. Okay, Massa. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I should have just told him straight out, like, here's my counter offer. I don't care. I'll just take money out of the register. Yeah. How would I steal five dollars out of the register? We're even. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Uh, we we should try um maybe just like a couple more. Yeah, yeah, sure, sure. Let's sure. do like uh maybe like three tops. Alright. Um Let's do it. South Seattle, like Kent area, Washington. Tacoma. Here we go. We're getting into um, Pol- Polkja's area. I'm giving, I'm giving out her docs to, to tell everyone where she lives. Polkja. All right. I'll try and get one on the phone for you. Do the same old shtick. I just thought more people would... Hi, this is Steven from the corporate office with 7-Eleven. How are you today? Uh, oh, pretty good. I'm just calling to do the weekly customer survey. Do you have a customer in there that we could do the quick survey with? I've got a few. Give me a second. Let's see some. Oh yeah. Like to to yeah. Just let them know they can get a free soft drink or hot dog or whatever. Okay. Magazine. Cigarettes. Tank of gas. The gentleman here just said no. That's okay. Oh okay. Well, Sorry about that. Yeah, we, we tell up, him. We tell up, him no survey, no sale. No, we could up the offer to a pack of Marlboros if he wants to do that way. Yeah, we can do that. Hold on, Is for a pack of cigarettes. No. All right. Yeah, I'll have you come around here. Okay. He'll be Hopefully, right he'll be louder than you. I can barely hear you. Oh, right. uh, he'll be right here. Okay, great. I can't wait. There you go. Hello. Hello. Yes. Yes. Hi, sir. Uh, were right. you? Hi. We're going to see if you want to do our customer survey for a free carton of cigarettes. Oh, a free carton? Yeah. What do you smoke usually? Marlboros? Marlboro 100s. Uh, menthol or regulars? Regulars. All right. Sure. Yeah, we could do that. All right. Do you, are you behind the counter now? Yeah. All right. Okay. Uh, so the three questions. Number one, do you are you a member of our loyalty customer loyalty rewards program, the card? No, I don't have a card though. Okay, that's fine. Well, we can get one later. And the you second question. Huh? I talk to Richard. The no, 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 no. And that's it. Now, and you can get the free if you can grab the carton. Okay. Do you, you see it there? Uh, I'll, I'll give it to Richard, and you tell him. Okay. Oh, you tell him. But we haven't done the survey uh-huh. yet. You still have to do the survey to get the free cigarettes. Uh-huh. To okay. The what do I do now? All right. So, do you, if you're not a loyalty member, would you be interested if uh, we were selling adult magazines there again, like we're used to? Would you buy any, or would you be offended? Well, I don't read those. Would you be offended if we sold them now? No, I don't want to get them. Okay, I... but would it be would it upset you, or would it be okay? You just wouldn't ignore them. You would ignore them. Well, well, that's okay. I rather no. Nah. Okay, and then the next question is, do what now? Uh, uh, here, sir? Yeah, are you stupid? Uh, here's, here's Richard. Oh, wait, no, sir, sir, it's multiple choice. Do what now? How you doing? How you doing? Oh, hey, we just need to finish the survey. It'll just one more question with him. All right. One more, and what's that's... Last, what's the last question? Oh, no, we, we have to ask him here so we can write it down. Just one more for the free cigarettes. Okay. Yes. Yes. Sir, hello. This is I'm I'm Gary. Yes. Hi. Uh, it's, we have a computer here that detects uh, you know uh, alcohol levels and voices, and we've detected yeah. that you're drunk. And I hope you're not. Oh, you're, are you driving? I'm, no, I don't. I'm not even. I have. I don't drink liquor, and I don't drive. Oh. You smoke marijuana. I've been drinking coffee. I just got coffee. Uh, well, I. You're just I, slow. I better let you go. No. Oh, do you want a carton of cigarettes, sir? Well, if it's okay with you. Yeah, go ahead. Can you put Richard on the line? We'll make it happen. All right. And ha- yeah, go ahead. Okay. Pleasure. All right. 
Richard. Hello? Yes, sir. Hi, Richard. Yeah, go ahead and give him that, that carton of Marlboro 100s. Okay. All right. And that's it. There you go. All right, sir. Have a great day. Uh, sir, just save the receipt. Save the receipt for the Marlboro 100s. Okay, and what do I write on there, sir? D- just write... Hey, the, write oh, sorry, go ahead. Yeah. I'm sorry, Mr. No, it's it, it's going to come out of your paychecks. Put that down. Have a good day. All right, cool. I don't know. What were you going to say? I, I jumped in there. So. <laughs> I, I don't know. I was just going to say right free. <laughs> <laughs> free. Free. Survey. I, do, you, Survey. do you think he did it? I mean, he, he sounded like he's going to do it. but then... They both sounded like idiots, so I'm pretty sure. Yeah, what the hell was that? <laughs> I was playing dueling banjos again in the background. Uh, very appropriate. Uh, oh, and I, I accidentally played some of uh, I Dream of Genie in the background by accident in the that beginning. It's appropriate stupid me. Too. Stupid, stupid, stupid. Sorry, right. Don't we, beat yourself up. We got two left to call. Two. All right. Yeah, yeah. Do it. All right. <laughs> As you play Simpsons. I, I think yeah. on the Christmas Eve show, didn't I play Simpsons the entire time? Uh, I I, you said you did. I don't yeah. know if that was true. Uh, no, I'm pretty sure for, for the most part I played it nonstop. I haven't played it at all tonight because I'm in control of the, the calls, so I, I can't. Yeah. I don't have that level of mind. You know, I can't. Multitasking and <laughs> this. Call 7 Eleven, how can we help you? Hi, this is Daniel from the corporate office. With, I'm calling to do the weekly customer service. Hi, can you hear me? What? What? He lies. That that doesn't count. Nope, it does not. Well, wait. Let me. Ah, fuck it. Yeah, I love the apu noises on that other call. <laughs> yeah. All right, listeners, keep your fingers crossed. Uh, this may be the last call. Maybe I can talk Carlito into one more. Maybe. Because that one, I don't know if that one counted just now. I don't think it did. Have me. Hi, this is Ke- Hi, this is Kevin from the corporate office with Seven Eleven. Mm-hmm. Yeah, you forgot to say Seven Eleven when you picked up. Um, I'm calling to do the weekly customer survey. Mm-hmm. Do, do you have a customer in there I could speak with? Mm-hmm. You can tell them they get a free mm-hmm. free drink. Huh? Which one? I'm sorry. What was that? What? Okay. Did you understand anything I just said? Huh? Mm-hmm. Okay, I'm calling to do the weekly customer survey. Mm. Do you have a customer there I could speak with? For the survey. Hello? Is this a customer? Yes, it is. Okay, I need to put you on the phone with our, our survey um, uh, leader guy, and uh, I'm going to put Carlito on. Cross, I mean. Oh. And it's going to be a care. survey. You get You get free stuff. Okay. Uh, yes, hi. This is Mr. Carlito, the survey guy. Uh, we're doing a corporate survey. Congratulations. You've been selected. I hope you're having a happy new year so far. Uh, were you coming in for uh, food or drinks or both? Uh, today we're just uh, coming in for uh, some beers and cigarettes. Beers and cigarettes. Excellent. What, kind, what uh, brand? Do you smoke Marlboros or Camels or what? Camel Crush. Cam- okay, excellent. Would you be interested in a free carton of those? Uh, sure. All right, uh, we just need to answer uh, get two more questions. Uh, we're thinking about uh, starting to sell adult novelties and magazines again in the store like we used to. Um, right. Would you be offended if we had adult magazines in front of the counter? Um, yes, just for the simple fact that there's a lot of kids that come into this 7-Eleven. Okay, okay. Lot, uh, like on a daily basis. There's a lot of parents that bring their kids in here, and if they see that, they're gonna be like, "Mommy, what's that?" And that would be somewhat offensive. All right. Well, the other we'll, we'll, now we would cover the 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 covers would be covered with plastic, so you wouldn't be able to see what they are. It would just it would just be a label that says what it is. Would that still offend you if you couldn't see the the pictures? Well, if you couldn't see it, then yeah, then, then it would be acceptable. Okay, now the one magazine that in particular we're looking, it's we're, uh, corporately we're starting it ourselves. It's called 7 Eleven's Big Fat Black Nigger Pussy Lips. Would that offend you? No, it wouldn't. You wouldn't have a problem with big flat black nigger pussy lips? Nope. All right, would you buy this magazine, Big Fat Black Nigger Pussy Lips? Yep. You would? Mm hmm. Okay, all right. 
Well, that, yeah, there you go. Um, go ahead. Can you tell the gentleman you like your free carton of cigarettes? Yeah, this is a prank call, huh? No, 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 not at all. No, this is serious. We actually are uh, releasing um, our own uh, line of novelty items and magazines and things like that. Uh, hold on. Don't hang up. Don't listen to him. <laughs> I guess he's gone. <laughs> I'm sorry I used the N-word. I know this is not a <laughs> Yeah, it offends me pretty bad, badly. Yeah. It's like Michael Richards. <sighs> yelling the N-word. All right. Well, last one. Just one more. Last one, last one. Okay. No more after this. Unless it's uh, uh, disconnected. A good one. Then it doesn't count. Okay. All right. Okay. <laughs> or if he's foreign. Ha! Ha! <laughs> you, you got the iPad, right? Yeah. Oh, that must be nice. I have to scroll all over the place on my phone. It's big. Yeah, you, you're compensating for things I don't have to compensate for. My small phone. I remember uh, one night for one of my shows, I... I I played the uh, Plants vs. Zombies uh, theme song. I just played it straight from my phone for the entire, you know, three hours or whatever. That works, man. Yeah. <laughs> it's, it's still ringing. It's still ringing. I didn't do a new one or anything crazy like that. that was... I can't believe nobody called in. Like, not a single person called in. Yeah, today. that's a record. Like, like they didn't even try. Nobody called in. I, I would have that's... taken calls. Not even Zyklon. Could have been a fun New Year's conference, but whatever, you guys. If you don't yeah. want to talk to us, whatever. Fine. Tombstone. Maybe we'll shut off the calling in. Yeah, Tombstone wanted to call in. Oh, and I tried to call him bef- before because you were you were running late. I, I was going to start yeah. the show with him. I was like, fuck Carlito. But... I didn't even know he was around anymore because I blocked him months ago because he wouldn't shut up. No, he's, he's, uh, he, he started meds or something. He sounds better these yeah. days. Did he get laid finally? So he can stop asking me to get him laid. That's all I can think. L- later, he took, he's on new meds. God, he, they upped his dosage. He's like, oh, I'm in Canada. How am I going to get you laid? Get me laid. <laughs> I heard Rappy McRapperson. He was calling me. He's like, what, what do I do about this guy? He won't. He, he, he <laughs> texts me. He calls me. He won't stop. Oh man, uh, Rappy. It, it's still ringing. I'm pretty sure it's still ringing. Hold on. I think it's still ringing. Yeah, it's it looks, beep, looks beep, like beep, it's. Beep. No, no, I think you're hearing things. Uh, yeah, look at I'm hearing it's, things. It's ringing. Yeah, I know what you're doing. <laughs> okay, I'm preoccupied. <laughs> hey, not Brad. Hey, you said no one called in, so I had to change that. <laughs> thanks for Gee, thanks. proving me a liar. Yeah, oh, we, yeah you you're here. We, we, we got to go on for another hour now. Exactly. Hello? Hello? I'm calling. Hello. F- Hi, I'm calling from the corporate office with Seven Eleven. Yeah. I- I'm calling to do the weekly customer survey. Yes, sir. Do you have a customer there that I could speak with to do the survey with? Yes, sir. I- I'm calling to do a customer survey. Is there a customer in the store? Yes, sir. I need to talk to the customer. I'm calling from the corporate office. Hello. Hi. Oh my god! Is this is this an overseas call center that I reached? Fuck! <laughs> god damn it! Hey, hey, since not Brad's here, can we just call one more Carlito? Just one more. Oh, I guess. Oh, oh you and your rules. <laughs> yes. You didn't read your contract. I mean, that's I, that's clearly yeah. stated on section, yeah, I'm sure section four, line. Not a read contract. I just sign. If you want your your thirty dollars for the night, <laughs> just one more. I mean, come on, we did like five and a half hours Christmas Eve. True. 7-Eleven, it's Vanessa. Hi, this is James from the corporate office with 7-Eleven. I'm calling to do the weekly customer survey. Um, okay. Do, do you have a customer in there I could speak with to do the quick survey with? No, actually, I don't buy your joke. Have a great night. You don't buy my joke. Oh. <laughs> dun, 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 dun. <laughs> Bitch, please. Smart one there in a plantation. <laughs> oh, where's wow. my goddamn sound effects? <laughs> I don't buy your Man, jokes. I don't even have sound effects on here anymore. <laughs> I don't buy your jokes. <laughs> I don't buy your joke. <laughs> there, that's good enough. There you go. 
So, well, you guys can keep going. I got. I really because I can't, man. If I don't go to sleep now, I'll, I'll lose my day. All right. Well, Carly, I'll, I'll let you go as long as we try one more because that one didn't count. Oh Jesus! Just, right. just last <laughs> one. Like, there's not going to be any more after this, and I'm going to go too. I'm. I, yeah, actually, I got to go. On. I'm tired. Last one. No exceptions. This one. This one has three reviews, and they're all positive. Seven Eleven. Hi, this is Mark from the corporate office. I'm calling to do the weekly customer survey. Yeah. Um, do you have a customer in there I could speak with? Uh, no, no customer right now. Uh, there's none coming in or anything? No. Can you go outside and just pull someone inside? Like, just go outside on the street and just find a random person? Grab them by the neck. No, no, but I can't see anybody outside. It's all, it's do you, it's all dead do right you have, now. Do you have a cordless phone? Can you walk out, out, like, out to the edge of the parking lot? Yeah, I can see the whole parking lot. Nobody's there. Banchud. Yeah, who, your name is? Oh, my name's... Sister. My name is huh? Sister. My name is Sister. I'm calling from the corporate office with 7-Eleven. Yeah. Yeah. Um, do you know... Um, we, we haven't... We're showing that the alarm... We're having an issue with the alarm system. Um, we're going to need to do a reset on that. Do you know where the circuit breakers are? The big gray box on the wall? No. But, you know, it's the power switches to shut off the power because we have to reset the power to make the the alarm to fix it all. Oh, he's gone. No, I don't know oh, why it is. No, right, right now it says you're getting robbed. Are you getting robbed no, right now? No, it's not saying that. Do you know where the back room is? Like where we keep yeah, it? Yeah, I know the back room. And, and there's a big gray box in the wall with switches? Yeah. Yeah, the circuit breaker box, the fuse box. You want me to call the police right now? No, no, that's ridiculous. Why would you call the call- police? Can you call your mother to come kiss me? Okay, but I have a good one. Sir, we're gonna oh, need, you... we're gonna need your mother to kiss us on the penis. Oh, no. <laughs> okay, bastard. Do you want me to call police? <laughs> yeah, thanks for yeah, that. Yeah, go ahead. Sure. <laughs> <sighs> you said last one, last yeah. one. He even insulted us. I count. Yep, yep. I guess that's it. Uh, I'm just going to do that for an hour. All right, I'm leaving. See you guys. Everyone, watch the Madhouse stream for the Christmas Eve show soon. I'll try and get that edited tomorrow. I'm going to help you, Carlito. I'm going to help you get your stream caught up. We'll figure it out together. Yep, yep. It'll be amazing. Bye, Brad, and bye, not Brad. Bye bye, Carlito. Yeah. Thank, thanks for, yeah, that was great. That was awesome. Have we did, fun. Thanks we did for fun having things. me.